to the good days, here's to the sorrows. This is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. Too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one so all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best to see Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Hi, everybody. How's it going? I want to shout out to Katie for becoming a member. I've been doing a little more members lives now that I've kind of got my schedule figured out. So let's jam for a sec. Ready? Buttercup has dedicated their lives to fighting for the Love it. <laughs> Welcome, Katie. I'm so glad that you're a member. So glad that you're here. How are y'all? How's everything going? The holidays have approached. They are upon us all. First live. Welcome to all the newbies in the live tonight. I spent the day feeding crows, so I think they recognize me now. <laughs> That's awesome. Excuse me, I um I'm gonna eat this cheese stick. Oh my god, wait, I have a question. How do you eat cheese sticks? Do you like uh or do you like peel it? Like that. I'm curious because I know that's a thing. People have a thing about that. I've been binging the Melissa Collins saga at work all day. Haha, <laughs> great job on them. Thank you. She's been doing a lot more videos. So um here we are. You feel, you feel. I love that for us. Peel. And you know, if you take a bite, we still love you. You're still welcome. Um, so uh updates. I have a PO box coming. I'm gonna try it out for like three months, see what, what happens. I don't know. We'll see. Um I have a new work schedule. I finally 
I'm doing the schedule that I was, uh, what is it called? Hired to do L O L. Uh, first Julie Joy live YouTube in a while. Welcome Patricia. Coming back home right in time to catch my first live. Oh, cool. Um, I don't like the way it squeaks on my teeth if I just bite. Well, that's fair. I think that's fair. Um, so my new work schedule, uh, what were they talking about? I'm all over the place tonight because I just finished my new work schedule, which is a split shift where I do, I do five, 12 hour shifts in seven days. And then I have a week off. I love it. So I do two 12s. It's the weekend. And then I do three more 12s and then I have a week off. So that's my new shift and they're night shifts which I love even more. So I woke up at 4.30 today. I was like, no, I'm not going to sleep all day. And then I woke up and I was like, mm, I'm so tired. I wonder if I can sleep a little more or should I get up? What time is it? Is it like 1? 4.30. Oh my gosh. That's usually when I wake up for work anyway, though. Um, and then so now my schedules will be the week that I'm off of work. I'm working my YouTube. So I get to do a lot more. I get to actually, um, like write research and write my scripts for certain videos and spend more, like, I love reacting. I love reaction videos, but I also love doing the research and writing and scripting part too. This is your first live Taylor. Welcome. Sorry, I'm eating the cheese stick. I'm just finishing up my dinner. I had pizza. Don't worry. I'm not just eating a cheese stick for dinner. That could never be me. Mm. 4.30, that brings back memories of my time in the Army. Yeah. 4.30 p.m., baby. But then I'm also helping out and picking up a shift tomorrow, but it's a short shift. And it's a day. I'm not supposed to work tomorrow, but I'm helping out. Oh, let's talk about some wins. Tell me some of your wins, because I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you a win of mine. So normally training would, would last for my job would last three months. It lasted a month. It lasted about a month. Yep. Almost exactly. No, it lasted less than a month because I started on the 13th, 15th of November. So it lasted three weeks. Um then I started. My boss was like, well, there's nothing else I can train you on because you already know. So you can start, like, not, like, having people with you and, like, just doing your thing and being official, official. And yeah, two days ago, my boss came in. She works days. And she, it was, like, shift change. And she was, like, saying she was talking to her boss and that her boss was, like, so you're telling me that Julie Jo undersold herself in her interview. I said, oh my God, that is so nice. Hey, Riley. Hi, honey. Um, when I got five days off, five day off coming. Oh, we love that, Monica. Used to do 12 hour night shifts. Yeah, they are. I like them so far. Hey, your favorite sociopath. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Anyone know Booty Beauty? I need to get like a, a soundboard. Brandy Lee, I'm sorry, I missed this. The party don't start till I walk in. That's right, Brandy. Tick tock on the clock, but the party don't stop tonight. I'm gonna fight till I see the sunlight. And then how that goes in the bed with the flu. Thanks for the company. Oh, I'm so sorry, Marianne. I'm glad that you're here, though. I'm glad I can give you some entertainment, some fun. My W for today was no shoulder pain. Oh, that's a win. That's a win. Gen 4.0 GPA, love that. Good for you. Um, MLM no said I'm doing well in my new job and I'm maintaining a 3.5 GP in school. I'm going back to college after 10 years. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. That sounds amazing. Um, Charlene, what is up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Suzanne, Susan, sorry. What just happened to me? When I get to see my family in Pennsylvania in a week and spend a month with them. Oh, that's wonderful. That is so fun. Um, I get to see my family in February. Well, my husband's parents whom I love. Monica said day four, four day, 
off coming up. Oh, we love a good time off, right? Lynn said hi from Ireland, Queen. Oh, hi. I know, Ireland. We love, we love, love, love. We love, love, love Ireland. I know. We had a trip planned and then we decided to move to Minnesota. <laughs> so, didn't go. Sorry. <laughs> I know. Sorry, but I was going to meet Ava. We're going to hang out. Um, Thiefy's Nightmare said a win, currently passing all my internet courses, and I plan to get one just to spite my old boss. And I plan to get one just to spite my. That's awesome. We love a good spite. I like to spite over here on this channel. I don't know. I don't know about you and yours, but me and mine like to spite. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm on top of Christmas. I feel like I won the Hunger Games. That's awesome. <laughs> I'd love that. Um, Nikita, Nikita, huh? Hey, you want to come say hi? Hers has been like coming to me when I'm sitting in the chair. I wanted to say hi. Now, Kita said, when new meds seem to be working better, we love a medic medication win. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. The shoulder pain 2005, off and on to be exact. Oh, well, I'm glad that there was no shoulder pain. <gasps> Maggie, 15 months as a member, win. Finish my Christmas shopping. Now, that is absolutely a win. You also got four days off, Hermit. Where are you? There we go. Because of Christmas, I finally finished my semester strong. Nice. How's the Minnesota winter? Not too much here. Not too much snow here in um, Wisconsin. Uh, Minnesota winter is 30 degrees. No snow yet. I mean, we've had snow, but it's it's like a lot hotter than normal. Um, I'm eating onion like an apple because I'm that lazy. Dinner. Nah, onion. Ugh, no, please don't eat the onion like an apple. Okay, Finn, what are you, what are you feeling? Is that, is, are you feeling this or what? What? Oh, you got my hair on your face. Got some prayers? Um, when I crushed my first semester of graduate school and I'm having a lazy winter break. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, fine. Oh, oh. God, I hate when she jumps out because she's getting older. She's almost 10. Her birthday's in like a week, Riley. It'll be 10 in a week. Uh, let's see, let's see. My biggest win, my win, I got my 6,000 in medical bills from thyroid cancer written off. Sandy, uh, we love a written off medical bill. Also, I hope you're doing well. Um, so, Mila, so Mila said, win, got set up with in-home care for partners so I can leave the house occasionally. That is a win. And I'm very glad that that has happened. I hope you and your partner are doing well. Alex said, biggest win is after a long time, I have a meeting to talk about tea finally. Win. We love good wins. We love all wins. Okay. Now, I think it's time. I, we're all winners. Yes, that's right. I'm so glad. I'm glad we could talk about some wins. And if you don't have wins, please know that you will. I have not wins often. And sometimes I have wins. And they will come. And we are glad that you are here. I may not have a win, but... Y'all's wins is giving me hope. Oh, I love that. Win. Rekindled my love of reading and crushing my reading goals. Yes. Oh, that is such. I want to get that win too. I want to do that too because I used to read more. Don't read now at all, really. I mean, I read. But like not books that are, are like, I don't know. But not, but not fiction books. Okay. MLM No said, First off, hi, member for one month. So glad that you're here. If no one told you, I'm proud of each and every one of you. Even if you just survived, you're winning in my book. Ah, I love that. It's true. It's true. I feel the same way. So today, today I've got a hoot and a half going on for y'all. I thought we could experience some fun. And you know what? If Melissa Collins is going to put out content, I'm going to, I'm going to use it. If she's going to keep putting out videos, I'm going to react. Okay. I don't care. If y'all think it's too much or what, listen, she's entertaining, she's wild, and she's a perfect example of an MLM leader who's just not, not leading well. I could say a lot of other things there, but I thought I'd be like semi-professional. So uh, we're going to start with a Melissa Collins video, and she has several videos after this one too. I She's just been going hard, and I didn't really film this past week because... That's what I'm doing a live tonight because I haven't filmed a video. <laughs> uh, and Ava messaged me last, like 12 a.m. when I was at work and she was like, hey, <laughs> pretty much like, if you send a video, I'll try to get it into you on time. 
when I was, because I, I mean, she's so great. Even when I send one late, you know, I also, I never expect her to, I give her like two days to finish it or whatever. So I never expect her, even if I'm late, like I don't expect her to be on time with it because it's my fault. And she was being so kind. I was like, girl, don't even worry about it. I'm doing a live. I'm not filming. So today's winter solstice. Nice. She has no filter and I'm here for it. Me too. I'm here for it too. So we're going to start with that. And then the second video we're going to go into is a Mary. It's a shorter one. And I haven't done a long one. I'll probably do the long one with somebody. I don't know. I don't know. I might do it with Aaron. I haven't even talked to Aaron about it. Um, Julie, did you plan this reaction? No, I did not. I did not plan this reaction. I just, I woke up at 4.30 and I said, I need to find some videos to react to. <laughs> so I went and got a video from uh homegirl melissa who by the way blocked me on facebook but i still have access to her facebook don't you worry and then i also got a video um from mary scott with mary scott shanna kenley Blech. sorry i'm so sorry if you hate gagging noises i didn't mean to do that like that's actually i think my legitimate reaction to her and then this other girl i don't know so Oh yeah, make sure to like the stream. Please and thank you. Make sure to look at what real well. Hope it tastes good. Tell me what it tastes like. <clears throat> Sam said, when I've crocheted most of my Christmas presents after learning how to crochet over the last three months. That's amazing. That is awesome. Crocheting sounds so nice. Like it sounds like a peaceful, but like interesting and difficult thing to do. Kind of like painting where it's peaceful, but also like if you're trying to paint a good picture, it can be hard too. No $120 planner yet, LaMeo? Not yet. I hope she didn't, like, take it back. <laughs> Who knows? I might not even get it now. I'll, I'll, I'll check back. I'll check back. Um, and if I don't get it, then I'm going to sue her for $120. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm going to get my money back, though. Bite me. Um, tastes like sugar-free Solo. Also, it actually wasn't my money. <laughs> to be frank, I... I didn't even like spend the money on it. It's not even mine. Who, whoever bought it though is going to get their money back if they haven't. I actually need to talk to that person because I haven't gotten it yet. Wait, did you order one of those $120? So I didn't actually order it. A member ordered it and was like, hey, I ordered the planner. I'm going to send it to you. I said, what? <laughs> My husband would never let me do that, to be fair. Um, now I've ordered, I've, I've paid course, I've paid for like MLM courses and stuff, but they're like under 40 bucks. Right. And I just can't like $120 planner w with my life right now. I, my husband would not have been happy. Lick tastes like candy cane, hot chocolate. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. You like saying for $120 it probably costs more in legal fees and payout. Yeah. No, nah. <laughs> it's just a joke. I promise. Um, Anna Lulu, you should treat the planner like like a wreck this book and then show off your masterpiece at the end of the year. Ah, that could be really fun. I do hope I get it though. I'll have to see if I don't think the person who ordered it has actually received it yet. So I'll reach out to them. Okay. So we're going to start with Miss Melissa. Who's ready? Are y'all ready? I'm ready. Um, let's get this show on the road and this, okay. I picked this one out for a reason. I have to, I'm trying to remember what the reason was. <laughs> shush, shush shanna um what was, what, what was the name i think it was the title is why i picked it out so if you're lazy and you know it clap your hands it's called if you're lazy and you know it clap your hands so <sighs> that was me clapping my hands okay let's watch because um it's funny the amount of confusion. It's also funny the um, pushback that I get when I speak to other leaders, people who have, when I say leader, I just mean people who have had success in the industry. Why is everyone like the lazy one? The, she uses these words, dumb and stupid one. And like, why is she never like the one who messes up? It's always somebody else. <laughs> She's never in the wrong. Like when people wanted to see you know, just like glimpses of her planner before they spent $120 on it. She was like, um, you're wild. Like you're wrong. Like it's all your fault that you want to see it type of thing. She's pretty much like, you think that I have to do that? <laughs> That's on you. No, if you don't like it, then don't buy it. I'm like, 
no, that's what people do. That's like a normal thing. You wackadoodle. It doesn't mean that they're a good leader. It doesn't mean, I, I, I really am not a fan of the terminology, actually. It just creates big fat egos. But <clears throat> it's. It does. And I think I'm staring at one of the biggest and fattest ego <laughs> I've ever seen. Like top five for sure. And, and we've seen quite large egos. It's interesting. The feedback that I get when I explain <laughs> what you're actually able to do at lab now. Um, apparently it's freaking people out, which is great. Um, at the end of the day, someone said to me the other day, why can't you just do it like other companies? Well, that's exactly why. Um, you really think someone said that the other day? You really think someone said, why can't you do it like other companies? Why do you have to be so different, you know? I don't. I don't. Um, so say hi to me when you come on so I know I can see comments. Let me say hi back to you. <clears throat> I am going to go through some of the psychology behind the system and then how the system works and why it's so different, why it's so unique, why it's something that no one else has. Um, that's what I would like to talk about. She is so innovative. No one else has it and no one else has ever had it because she's so innovative and smart and amazing. So if you could say hi so that I know I can see comments. I know they're like super delayed. Oh, I'm just going to get comfy here because this might be a little, a little bit of a chat. Let's see. Hi, Kyra. Chop my freaking hair off. How are you? Guys, do me a favor, hit the heart button. That will make this go faster. Hi, Amy. If you smash that heart button, you just hit it a bunch of times. It will help go gather an audience on Facebook. Um, so here's the deal. Like when I explain what we're doing with this automation, people come back with crazy stuff. They're like, oh, well, you know, you're giving people the idea that they don't have to work. You're, you're going to attract lazy people. That's why the title of the slide is if you're lazy <laughs> and, you know, clap your hands. I'm clapping my hands. Like, I want to be lazy. Oh, or, oh, you're telling people there's an easy button. But what if there is? You guys remember. I that is so wild that she's saying that. Because our previous videos are very much giving, like, do the hard work. You know what I mean? I just, I don't. This is she in every video. I feel like there's a little bit of a of a like a different side of her that comes out depending on the video, right? It, it's just like something new. So it was like one video we watched. She was super wild and calling people stupid and all this. Y'all remember that? The next video she was like serene and like trying to act like an angel. And then now this video she's like, I want to be lazy. I want to be lazy. And we're like, oh, okay. This is another new Melissa Collins. This is the third new one that I've seen recently. <clears throat> Quite interesting. I don't know how, how old you are or whatever, but if you were... MLM knows that I clap, but I'm too lazy. Remember when <laughs> Amazon first started, they started selling books and everybody said, Barnes and Noble and everybody said, you can't sell books online. People don't want to shop that way. Oops. Big mistake. Huge mistake. Is that true? Who said that? I think I'm too... No offense. I think I'm too young to have heard that. I don't know. Or maybe it, it was... No one said that. I don't... I don't know. I'm going to be 28 in February. That still is such a wild thing for me. Just hopping on. But dang, JJ, you are glowing. Your skin looks amazing. You look so refreshed, happy, stunning. Oh my gosh, Mackenzie. That's so nice. Thank you. Charlene, stop comparing yourself to Amazon. Uh-huh. That's a good point. That's a good point. No one said that, LMAO. No, I'm sure nobody said that. Okay. Imagine being so Delulu, you compare yourself to Bezos. Right. So, uh, so far, I, I really had, I really didn't hear that. Like, I was, I, I was young when the internet came. Like, I, I'm at that age where I still played outside a lot, but I also, like, played, like, Arthur's Magical Adventure or whatever on the computer so <laughs> i said amazon also started in a niche niche however y'all want to say it and then first and then expanded she's delulu okay okay so she's just lying she just pulled that one from her asshole she tends to do that a lot she pulls a lot of things from her butt 
The people who turned away from that idea. I make a mistake. That. Now most shopping is done online. Hmm. Brandy. What about the people? No, absolutely what not. about uh, Blockbuster? Anyone go to Blockbuster anymore? All right. No, we don't do that. We don't have VHS tapes anymore. What about Redbox? Remember Redbox? Melissa, what are you talking about? What is she? What is she talking about? Why are we talking about Blockbuster? If there's a Blockbuster open, though, I would go to it. I'm not going to lie. I loved Blockbuster so much. And when it closed down, I was very upset. I was a very sad girly. I just like turning in the DVDs in the slot. And the and like the VHS tapes. I was still around. I was young, but I watched a lot of VHS tapes. I had like the um the rewind, like where you put it into the slot and you like rewind it back manually. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. She's Melissa's talking about block. She's like comparing her. She's talking about Blockbuster. She's so wild to me. Sorry, Riley was like VHS. Because he's also my age. We also the same age, so. That was so awesome and convenient. Drop a yes in the comments if you went to Redbox. Okay, Kevin said, <laughs> maybe MLMs will become blockbusters, discarded and forgotten. Wouldn't that be an audio? We had an audio, auto rewinder. Yeah, auto rewinder. That's nice. Because I used to all the time with my kids and we would stand there and pick out a movie. That's not a thing anymore. Because consumer behavior and technology change and evolve. And if you're not going to evolve with it, you are absolutely going to go out of business. Right, LD. Here's the thing. There are... You know you know what's so funny? that She said, like, if you're not going to evolve... She's pretty much saying, like, if you're not going to be, like, lab and evolve, you're going to go out of business. Now, tell me how lab... How, tell me how lab's doing. How great are they? How great are they doing? They can't be doing great. Not too well. Oh, sorry, Riley. I think I'm, I think I'm yelling. Leaders. Yeah, Redbox with is massive fine. downlines. Yeah. Who are like, oh well, I'm doing just fine. My check's not ticking down. I'm doing just fine. Wait, sorry, we gotta rewind that. Did y'all see her? Watch, watch, watch. Here's the thing. Watch this. There are leaders <laughs> with massive <laughs> downlines. <laughs> it so much who are like oh well i'm doing just fine my check's not ticking down i'm doing just fine until your downline that's not making any money finds out there's a way to actually make money yeah go to work do work <laughs> or like sell stuff i don't know there's lots of ways that you can make money um not a lot necessarily but you can like mlm is not the way you know what I figured out that if I did my job, <laughs> I'd make money. If I if I showed up and like did it, I'd make money. Now, listen, I'm not pro-capitalism or whatever, but I'm just saying, like, we live in a capitalist society and that's how that works. Without cold messaging people, without making creepy posts on Facebook, without bothering all their friends and family, without asking people to host a post, without having to go to six opportunity meetings a week, without having to, like leaders, without having to host them. People get mad when I'm like, I'm host a post. She just, she just straight up threw down and it works. She just, she just bitch, she just bitch slapped them. You know what I mean? <laughs> never doing one again ever ever it's exhausting right charlie it's exhausting having to follow up promote 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 from event to event to event to event no yeah yeah charlene said and look at her mouth movements like the way that she's like talking and interacting with her mouth and her face charlene said she's pressed about something ha 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 yeah something pissed her off and and i think that's when she gets on here is when something bothers her and she's just venting and like taking it out on everyone watching Thank you. If you've been in the industry, you know, leaders do. I've done it too. Like, I'm not like, it is what it is. Like, it's way we used to do it. Promote an opportunity meeting, get as many people on, just ask people. We would have to do training on how to get teams to reach out, to ask people to, to we, we even had like, we had like little forms, like reach out, follow up, remind, do Can an anchor you? story. Uh, have you guys done all that stuff? Yeah. I don't want to do it anymore. I am not. Lynn said her auto SMS thing, like the messaging isn't working. 
Are you telling me that this thing that she has been screaming about from the top of the Chrysler building for weeks isn't working? Wouldn't that be interesting? Attached to it. It's exhausting. It's not just exhausting, but people aren't going to do it. It's not just hard. People literally aren't going to do it. That doesn't mean they're lazy. It means that consumer behavior is changing. It just is changing. If you are in network marketing and you wouldn't want to personally enroll me in your company, first of all, you're crazy. I'm never getting on an opportunity call ever. You cannot make me go to a Zoom. I don't even want to go to Zooms in my corporate role for 10 minutes. I was on one for eight minutes yesterday. It was too long. I was like, okay, we done talking because this could have been an email. I am so thrown off. I'm going to rewind it. Don't be mad. I've got to listen to this again because there is so much underneath what she's saying here. Going to do it. It's not just hard. People literally aren't going to do it. That doesn't mean they're lazy. It means that consumer behavior is changing. It just is changing. If you are in network marketing and you wouldn't want to personally enroll me in your company, first of all, you're crazy. Am I? Because right after you say that, you tell me I don't want to show up to any Zoom ever. And you tell me that you're lazy. So am I actually crazy? She straight up says that she's lazy. If you're lazy, you don't clap your hands. She's clapping her hands because she says she's lazy. So you're saying you're crazy if you don't want me to be in your MLM. But then at the same time, she's like, I'm lazy and I really don't want to show up to any Zoom. I don't really want to work. I just, I blah, blah, blah. So, so please explain to me why we should want you in the MLM. I'm never getting on an opportunity call ever. That's you cannot so make me go to a Zoom. I don't even want to go to Zooms in my corporate role for 10 minutes. I was on one for. Why can people have a corporate role and also be uh, the corporate leg? in a downline or in, a, in an MLM. I don't understand. I don't know how that's legal, but you know what? I can't do anything about it right here, right now in this moment, other than, wow, I need to put more mascara on. Eight minutes yesterday, it was too long. I was like, okay, we done talking because this could have been an email. I don't want to do it. People <laughs> who aren't even sure they want right. to do an online business definitely do not want to come to a boring 45 minute opportunity Zoom with a slide presentation. I, I am, don't, I'm going to be stopping it like this pretty much the whole time. So if you, you know, I'm just letting you know, I am convinced, I'm convinced that the only thing she does for her MLM is literally this. I am sorry. My tongue's dark because I'm drinking coffee because <laughs> you know, it's my morning. I am convinced that she's going to count this ranting video as her work for the day. And then she's going to try to pack planners. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just, I'm so, you can't convince me otherwise. Like, is there anybody watching this that's like, oh my gosh, I wish someone had invited me to an opportunity Zoom tonight so I could go watch a bunch of strangers talk about how much money they make and try to inspire me to come in and send cold messages to all my friends. Like, what? We've got to let go. I'm not saying that didn't work. It absolutely worked. I built big, big six-figure businesses, multiple six-figure businesses. I built million-dollar teams that way. But I don't want to do it anymore. I'm exhausted from trying to convince people that they can. First of all, you have to teach everybody how to speak correctly. You have to teach everybody salesmanship. You have to teach everybody how to close. You have to teach everybody how to overcome objections. You want to know why you have to handhold everybody in your business? You mean you have to do your job as a leader? Right, Luna. Same. Do I hear Luna? Like, so you're saying you have to do this and that and this and that. You have to help like, your Luna, homegirl. Did dad leave? Dad must have. Luna, come here, babe. Luna. Luna, Bob, Luna. Luna. Okay, now, thank you. Okay, calm down. Luna's not happy. No, she is not. Oh, oh, Luna. 
anyway um she literally just said she doesn't want to help build her team like so what she wants to happen is she wants people to join her team and then not do a thing and make money off of them tell me what does that sound like to you hmm i just i can't put my finger on it because you're having to teach all of these skills it's a huge skill set so I just said to myself a couple years ago, what if we just didn't have to do that? What if we just could create a way where all that skill set could be taken away? We don't, they don't need it. And we only teach them one thing. So what we, uh, yeah, Holly, me too. Like clap, clap. If you're lazy and you know it, clap your hands. Like I'm happy. Call me the lazy leader. Okay. You are a lazy leader. I mean, this is a, I mean, the laziest. It's funny because like people like her will call us lazy and like we don't put in the work and we don't do blah, blah, blah. And then they'll say something like this. But when in fact, we're not lazy. Also, never mind. I'm not going to go there. Mark me in. Sign me up. Sign me up for lazy town. I don't want to do it. I want to spend time with my family, not on a phone call. I just saw, um, I shared it in my stories. It's, it's not that, you don't need to go look at it. It's not that big of a deal. It was just made me sad. Um, I saw a picture of uh, my, one of my son's high school football um, hockey games where he was, you know, what is it called when they line up with the puck? It was facing off or whatever. And I was like, oh, I missed that so much. Do you know how many of those? I was always in the stands, but do you know how many I missed because I was on a phone call, a three-way call, trying to help someone understand why I start this business? I was. I absolutely am so glad that she's saying this because exactly what we say, we say, I can't believe I'm agreeing with her. MLMs are location freedom. It's not time freedom. You have to do it from wherever you are. Meaning you also have to work at your children's games. It's so that's what she's talking about. She's like, I'm going to three away call missing my children's sports. Well, Melissa, it just sounds like MLM isn't right for you then there but i was in the corner i wasn't really there that is not unusual these i think melissa's anti-mlm <laughs> wouldn't that be something leaders talking about time freedom they're lying not just to you but to themselves they are lying why am i able to talk so much shit about leaders let me just let me clear that up for you because you're because you because you like it. You're a pot stirrer, Melissa. You love to stir the pot. <laughs> Alex, it's why jobs have a specific time schedule. Right. Because then you can just like clock out and leave. And then normally like you don't have to continue to think. Right now, I'm not thinking about my job at the hospital and like going through my day and like trying to process it and blah, 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 blah. Like when I clock out, I, I told them at the hospital, what did I say? Oh, if I'm, if I'm not at work and you have a work question, do not call me. Listen, listen, I'm going to be, some of y'all are going to agree with this, but if, if you have a question for me, that's a work question, I will not respond to you or talk to you about it until I clock in. That's just, that's the boundary I set. And I told them to, I said, oh, don't call me. <laughs> I will not answer your phone. <laughs> answer your phone call if it's an emergency send me a text if it's an emergency send me a text and i'll you know if it's something that you really need me for and it's something like you really are I'm, i'll absolutely respond but like don't don't just wait for me to clock in okay i'm not getting paid to have that combo right now <laughs> and hey uh, i need to talk to you aaron once i need to talk to you like later tonight or something also i love you bestie uh, Aaron and I haven't talked very much the past seven days because I've been doing 12 hour shifts. Actually, we did FaceTime this weekend when I was off. Um, yeah, totally. I totally respect employees who have boundaries. Yes. And, and they are great. They are so great. Cause I don't need them. <laughs> Honor Blevins said, I do hair. And after hours, everyone is bald to me. <laughs> uh, hijab cheese says, What's the difference between a Zoom call and her ranting on a live? You know what? Actually, somebody said that earlier. They're like, this is kind of like a Zoom call. I'm like, that's fair. She's pretty much doing an MLM Zoom training right now. 
not sorry. I don't need someone to come here and move a team of 300 people. Because I have a way that the actual people can win. See, the way most companies are built, and the reason why you haven't seen a company go over 12 billion in this industry is because it's so incestuous. People are just moving from one company. It's just like shuffling people around. That, well, yeah, duh. Because it's not, a, it's not about the product. It's not even about the company. It's not about what the company stands for. It's not about what the products stand for. It's not about the community. It's not, it's never ever, nor will it ever be about that in multi-level marketing companies. It's always going to 100% be about the money. It will always be about the money. You, they're like, I'm loyal to this. I'm like, no, you're actually not. You're not. And you're ridiculous if you think that you are. Because if money pops up from somewhere else, you're going to go. And if you don't, and you're just losing money right and left, you're a terrible business person. Terrible. And you're loyal for what? You think those top, you think those like CEOs and top leaders and stuff are going to support you just because you're staying loyal and not taking the money from somewhere else? No, they don't care about you. They care about the money. That's it. Snip. Aaron, did I see her again? Um, Aaron said, does the way people win at lab involve moving volume under under them, Melissa? Uh, that's a good, that's a good question. That's a good question, Aaron, but she's too lazy to answer it for you. <laughs> Instead of helping new people to the industry come in and win, it's just influencers shoveling people around, but none of the new people are winning. That's not growth. When you look at industry-wide growth, you haven't had serious industry-wide growth. Melissa will drive herself nuts over this because she thinks that in MLM, like in that business model, that people can win because she won, right? She was in that 1%. She thinks that people can do that. Um, but what she doesn't get, and I feel like what she's so close to, well, I don't feel like she's close to it, but I feel like she's closer to it than a lot of other people, is that it's actually the MLM business model itself that's the issue. And I see that a lot with people in MLMs. They go, there's something wrong here. They're like, you know what? Yeah, there is something wrong here. And it's this, blah, blah, blah. But they never actually get to what the issue is. And I think it's cognitive dissonance. I think they just don't want to get to it. Don't want to, like, they know it, but they don't. You know what I mean? Like, they, they don't allow themselves to really understand that it's the business model. In a long time. There's a reason for that. Because all we're doing is moving the chess players around on the table and they're bringing their pawns. I'm, I'm not calling people pawns. I'm just saying that's a chess reference, right? We're bringing their pawns with them. Hi, Donna. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Joshua. And so, so first I said, how do we teach people how to become micro influencers? How do we do that? What is the actual broken down method to make your content go viral? How do you become someone with authority that other people will listen to with content rather than having to reach out? That was step one. And we spent the, I built an app. It's a gamified app. Some of Gamified app. Okay. I want to hear this, but Alex is currently struggling finding a first job because of many issues, but I would never think about doing such an easy job as MLM. Those people are terrifying. Yeah. And you know, earlier I was like, like I was talking about like, work get your do do your job right that's how you make money i hope i didn't like offend anyone by the way because that could be a little bit offensive i'm not kim k i am not get off your ass and work okay that's not me but i was just i might be thinking about it a little too much i just don't want to seem like an asshole i am sometimes but i'm not a kim k okay <laughs> brian said she seems to rep resent mlm as much as she loves it isn't that weird because I'm getting that too. The app. Why? <laughs> okay, let's let's hear about I am deeply offended. <laughs> okay. I love you, Brandy. You're so I love it. You're so funny. Okay, I'm gonna rewind it because I do want to hear about this app and I'm not gonna Julie J is not Kim K. No, I'm Julie J is not Kim K. <laughs> That's right. How do you become someone with authority that other people will listen to with content rather than having to reach out? That was step one. And we spent the, I built an app. It's a gamified app. Some of you have seen it. Yeah, sure. Um, it's not technology that anyone can buy because I, it's my code. I am so sorry. 
but yes, it is. And, and frankly, I just don't believe that you're that intelligent, like intelligent enough to create something like that. I just don't believe it. Some of you might disagree with me saying that, but frankly, I'm getting a Diet Coke and now I don't care if you disagree. Look at this. Wow, this is actually huge. B baby, thank you. Love you. I don't think that she knows. I don't think that she did anything other than here, please, please make this. No. Mm -mm. Also, Sterling said, I think she loves the money she makes. Right. Correct. I think, I think that's where the cognitive dissonance comes, comes in. Cause it's like, oh, like if I say this, then I have to like stop doing this and not make the money anymore. That's a good point. I agree, Charlene. It's not a website. It's not a milkshake site. It's not a done for you funnel. It's not click funnels. It is an app that I built. I coded. Okay. It's proprietary. Um, and it, it's gamified and it teaches people how to go viral. So it teaches them how to expand their network and add new eyeballs. You have to have a large number to do it this way. You have to have a large number of people looking at your content. So that was step one. And we spent the last two years teaching people to use that. And we have hundreds and hundreds of stories of people who used it going from zero to 10,000 followers in 90 days. So this app is all about followers. Is anyone, is that right? This app, okay. This app's about followers. It's not actually doing anything for your MLM. It's just about, oh, wait, 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 <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know what? I'm going to listen to it because I don't want to. I don't want to like slay it and then I'd be wrong. You know, I don't want to like go hardcore balls to the wall and then be wrong. You have to have a large number to do it this way. You have to have a large number of people looking at your content. So that was step one. And we spent the last two years teaching people to use that. And we have hundreds and hundreds of stories <laughs> of people who use it going from zero to 10,000 followers in 90 days. So check that off the list. That's done. Now, what do we do with them? Um, and so I started, the way that this all started was I started using a process um, for myself, for my personal. She said, she said, you use this app and you go from zero to 10,000 followers in 90 days. I wrote it down. Milkshake is not site, it's not a site, it's not code for OF. Milkshake is like um, Linktree type of thing. It's like you can create stuff and fill in stuff for your own website type of links and whatnot. <laughs> How to get engagement. Step one, have followers. But so her, okay, someone please help me. So her app is about getting followers. Is that, am I right? Is that right? Because if so, every if so, that's the first of its kind. I've never heard of another app or anything ever helping you get more followers. I've never heard of something like that. It's brand new. There's not hundreds of thousands of other apps and stuff. It's a funnel. Does she, is it that she just doesn't know? Is she saying it's first of its kind, it's different, it's number one, it's all, is it just because she doesn't know? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Business that started to work. I started to enroll 30. Okay, pause again. Sorry, so quickly. Several of you I've seen saying, I think it's a cover for buying followers. And then another, I'm starting to think she's buying followers. You know what? I had that glimpse in my, like, I had a moment where I was like, is she like purchasing them? But I was going to give her the benefit of the doubt. But I, you know, I, I am leaning more towards she might be buying followers, which doesn't mean jack shit for anything when it comes to your MLM. This is, this is interesting to 50 people a month far after my launch far after far after it was reasonable 
Most leaders do not enroll 30 to 50 people a month, every single month. Yes, MLM no. That's not normal. And I'm happy to show you receipts. Like that's not, it's also not a lie. I have been. The do you know where her um, videos get the most engagement? On my YouTube channel. <laughs> Melissa, do you need some help? I can help. <laughs> the top enroller in this company every single month since, <laughs> I don't know. There's been a couple of months where I wasn't that because someone was launching, like a brand new leader was launching. But I have an average of 30 to 50 enrollments. I don't talk to people. I don't get on phone calls. I don't do Zooms. I don't do any of it. It's So the system, the, so the system works. And I said, and Brandon came to me and said, how do we replicate this for your people? And I tried a whole bunch of ways. Some of you have been here through this. The more she talks, the more I think funnel. I just think it's a funnel to her social media. Right? I really think that's what it is. So this whole process. And I tried some different ways. I tried to train people how to build it. It just didn't work because it's it's a lot of technology. There's a lot of friction in that process. And people in the industry just want to make it a couple extra hundred bucks or five hundred dollars. They don't want to go get a technology degree. They don't want to. They don't want to go figure out all this stuff. And so for those of you who are seeing this system on the user end, you might feel like, well, this is super simple. It is. On the technology end, it's super complex. It took us an entire year to build it because first of all, there is no platform that exists to to work off of. There was like system I could work off of. They didn't have what we had. In the MLM industry, you have replicated sites. What does that mean? A whole bunch of websites that are exactly the same that the company manages, but they're attached to a, a unique token ID. So they're attached to me. So if someone buys something from my website, I get commissioned for it. Everybody in the industry knows what a replicated site is. I'm, I'm explaining it for those of you who aren't. And so why was it so hard to create and build this? Well, because you have to figure out how to protect the field so that when information is going out from the company, it's going out and, and the, the distributor that is responsible for that lead is getting the sale. That was the hardest part. That is what no other company has. So I why, if she's so open about this, she's like, everyone should do this. People from other companies should come and learn this and use it on their company. Why can't she tell us exactly what it is? Like, why can't she say it's this app? I'm doing this, this, and this. She has to make it some like beautified version of a funnel. Like it's a funnel is what it sounds like. Funnel, buying followers, something. If th there's a mix right there. I, I don't know which one it is, but it's one of those. She's like, buy, I think it's a funnel though. I know she uses a funnel actually. Oh, I didn't even have my phone. Look how much I like you guys. You people. I didn't even have my phone with me. Um, I'm having too much fun. So why can't she just be more open about what's actually going on? It's weird. It's weird because I haven't heard the app. I haven't heard what it's like, what it's called or what it is. Or like, she's just saying it's so it's, it's one of a kind. I know some of your companies have text follow-up systems. I know that some people are using project broadcast, but by the way, unless they have literally jumped through the burning hoops that the FCC FCC is making people jump through, none of those texts are getting through. Anyway, it's not working anymore. Project broadcast, unless you have all every single one of your campaigns been approved by what I call the cell phone mafia. Um, it looks like they're getting through and you're getting charged for them, but they're not actually getting through. So for those of you who are using text marketing, you might have noticed that recently in the past few months, it started to get a lot less effective. And maybe you thought it was your company. Maybe you thought it was your product. Maybe you thought it was your messaging. The truth is it's just not the, the through rate is very low. That doesn't mean the open rate is low. Open rate of text still remains at 97%. The through rate means the ones that actually get through because there's a percentage. It's not 100%. Um, and so anyway, um, so, so we built a system that the masses can come in and they can learn how to make their content go viral, to use social media, to grow a network. And by the way, even if you're not in MLM, learning how to grow a network is absolutely necessary in 2023, 2024. The home business king said, I miss this. What is this person selling? Can I, I'm going to be very honest. I don't know. <laughs> well, okay. I'll be more specific. She's definitely selling an MLM, pro MLM products from lab life activated brands. And she's definitely selling an overpriced planning, a planner, 120 bucks, by the way. But whatever the hell she's talking about here, I don't know what it is. And it sounds, but, but it sounds like several other types of things like could be 
a type of funnel, could be a type of <sighs> shit. I don't know. You can't plot going viral though. Right. You can't really. It's, 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 and, and the way that viral works on different apps is different. They're not all the same. TikTok versus Instagram, girl, good luck on Instagram. TikTok, it's way more, it's way easier to go viral on there. That's why I have, I have a TikTok with almost a hundred thousand followers, but I don't really use it because I, I think TikTok's too easy. I need to use it. Okay. I know, I know, but I just haven't lately. It's necessary. It's an asset that you really want to have. If you're a realtor, if you own a boutique, if you do anything, you have to learn how to utilize social media. And most people simply don't know how to use the technology. You think you do because you're posting like your kids pictures and stuff, but you don't know how to use it intentionally to go build an actual network. And then next step is learning how to create content that actually builds authority within your brand, learning how to actually brand yourself. So we're focused on all of those skills, which are skills that people actually want to learn. Nobody wants to learn how to close. Nobody's like, I cannot wait to get up tomorrow morning and go message 50 people and get told F you 46 times. Nobody's doing that. Now, are some people still messaging 50 people a day? Yes. Does that work? Sure. Numbers work. But what if you just didn't have to do it? Okay, so I decided to stop being lazy for just a second and went to her Facebook and I'm downloading her app right now so we can go through it. And the bottom line is that's not duplicatable. The reason why leaders checks are ticking down is because it doesn't duplicate. Because people don't want to do it and they're not just, it's not just that they don't want to do it, they're not going to do it. And then they're not going to make any money and then they're going to say your opportunity or MLM or network marketing doesn't work for them. It's just not true. And then you'll say, well, they didn't do the work. Huh? Maybe. But the reality is, I think the masses don't want to do it anymore. They're tired of it. I know that leaders are tired of doing onboarding calls every single week, all week long. I know that leaders are tired of running opportunity Zooms and wondering if the team is going to get people there. That is... That is exhausting at a level that is difficult to even describe. It is exhausting. And then, you know, it's, it's not just do the opportunity zoom because then you guys. I downloaded it. Do y'all, do y'all want to look at it? <laughs> it's free right now. I'm sure there's stuff to pay for inside and I might just, I might pay for it if I need to, but do y'all want to look at it? Or do you want to keep watching this? Y'all want to look at the app? This isn't a democracy, but but I am giving you the opportunity right now to choose. Show it. I totally want to see. Okay. 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 The app. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Um, the app 100 percent All right. Yeah, I'm tired of kind of looking at her. You know what I mean? Um window entire. Hold on. Let me get this kind of fixed and situated. I don't, am I gonna be able to open it? Oh. And talk. I need to just be able to. Hold on. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I've got to pull your comments up on my phone. Um, and then, and then I'm not going to, yeah, I'm just going to pull your comments up on my phone. Okay. You got it. Sorry, I had to. You got it. Hey, Perry. Okay, so I'm going to just share my entire screen. Give me a sec. Okay, let me see if it's working. Oh, I probably should add it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Give, give, give it a sec. I'm just trying to see if, it, if it's working. Okay, we're here. Guided journal. 
12 week self discovery guided journaling course, empowered women, empower women, free personal development for women by women. That's free. Le intern intentional leadership series, learning how to lead effectively. Eight week challenge, eight weeks of exercise, mindset, and nutrition. Money mindset masterclass, how to get rich and stay rich. Think bigger, how to set better goals. Breakthrough, crush your limiting beliefs. Build your tribe. That might be it. That might be it. Let's look at build your tribe. Lecture one, build your tribe. <gasps> it's locked. Oh, we got upgrade. <laughs> I'm trying to upgrade. Girl, learn profile. That's my, hi, you can email me at that, by the way. Learn, I want to upgrade. And freemium. Okay, let me pause it for a second. Let me see. Do I need to, how much is the subscription? Price ends in a seven? Oh, I bet, I bet you. Freemium, freemium. Yeah, that's funny. Why can't I see it? Melissa, I'm about to spend money in your app and you don't want me to. What do you, what do you expect me to do? I would like to upgrade. You can only use this function if you're subscribed to a course. I would like to subscribe, but it's not working. Settings. Oh. Um, currently not subscribed. Well, I'd like to. Passion IO, build your own app. Is that how she did it? Page not found. Passion IO, build your own app. Is that what she did? I want to subscribe. My opinion, I find interesting that she's looking. Sorry, I'm Tori. I'm looking here. Here, you know what? I'm gonna go back to y'all for for just for a little bit because it's not letting me like subscribe or look at anything. Um. Tori said, in my opinion, I find it interesting that she's low-key telling on herself that she's burning out a little bit. And it appears to me, again, just my opinion, that she's getting followers not so ethically. Well, Tori, I, I think that a lot of us probably agree with your opinion. It's premium quality, but not really. <laughs> it's broken. It's it's not it just like the business model. Mm -hmm, I see you, Brandy. It, it literally wouldn't let me. Like, I can't see anything. I, I can't see anything. Is it not fully live yet? I mean, people are using it. I was about to pay her too. I had all right. Well, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play her um video and I'll see I'll I'll try it on my phone. Maybe that'll work better. Her whole team, how to follow up from that, how to close, how to it's so much. Um and so we just figured out a way to automate all of it. And it works. It, it absolutely works. No, it I'm watching it work. Um we don't ask in our whole company, we do not personally ask anybody. We don't ask anybody to join our info group, but our info group, the, in the, the little, what's it called? The little insights thing in the group. It's a straight line up right now. From the day we released the automation, it started going in a straight line up and we stopped asking people to join and it went in a straight line up because the automation works. We see hundreds and hundreds of people opting in and then getting, um, getting automatically followed up with, automatically sold to, automatically closed. And this is just version 1.0. I'm telling you right now, I'm on to working on version 2.0. And when we release that, it is literally gonna be like every single person's prospect is gonna be spoken to by a real human. And their questions are going to be answered in a real and dynamic way. It's not going to be a static campaign. Look, even on my phone, it's not working. Like you can't, this is where I'm supposed to subscribe, but there's nothing here. 
Y'all see, it's a black screen. Watch, I'll look, ready? Here's my thing. And to unlock it, I click it and then I press subscribe. It's broken. It's broken. <laughs> JJ is about to daily auto message us all to not join an MLM. That's actually not a terrible idea. <laughs> it works so well. <laughs> so, um, hey, Melissa, when you see this, I know you will. It, it's not working. <laughs> what you want me to do with your app if it's not going to work? Like, what do you want me to do? Subscribe. Literally not working. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. And when that happens, it's the just, app's just lazy. Over. It's literally going to be a choice whether to make money or not at Life Activated. It is right now. I mean, at the end of the day, do your daily workflow, help people fill out your interest form, take a nap, and, and absolutely post and pray is a thing now. I know everybody wants to train, oh, you can't post and pray. Okay, well, if someone said that to you and you didn't like it, come to lab because we will teach you how to post and pray. What does post and pray mean? Does it actually mean like post a post and then pray? I don't know. You can absolutely post and pray. And it's, it's really triggering, it, apparently, because I'm getting a lot of hate from it. It's really triggering for leaders to hear that. But you can post and pray. And I have proof. I have people who have never made paper. P-R-A-Y or P-R-E-Y? Oh, see, there it is. Same shit, post and pray with an E? Huh? <laughs> paychecks before making paychecks who just posted and prayed. They didn't start reaching out to 50 people. You can do that. I'm, I'm not saying you can't do that. You can do whatever you want. But we have a way where people can actually do what they want to do, which is learn how to create content, get it to go viral, learn how to create effective content that, that builds their brand, that feels good. And they don't have to be in Messenger all day answering 5 million questions. And let's talk to the leaders, the people who can go and roll 100 people in their first month. I'm sorry, but this just sounds like an app where like automated messages are sent to people and like, like that they don't, this app sounds like it's been made before several times by other people in MLMs. I don't, I just, there's not, there's not been one thing that I go, Oh, that, that is, that is new. That is new and fresh. That's new and freaky fresh. If you ever enrolled a hundred or more people, she is very condescending. And you know what? I don't know if y'all know Amberlynn Reed, but she's also very condescending. I've just been in girl world so much this past week. Very condescending. I like, I can't, it's hard for me to watch people like her, like Melissa, um, like Mary Scott, like Mary Scott's not as condescending, but definitely condescending. Like there's several people on J. Girl world. Okay. I want to talk about it because if people don't know, they're going to think I'm wild. Mass messaging. Right. Well, at a different company, I can show you how to enroll 300 here in your first month. I'll play, I'll put my money behind that. But you only do 50 or 60 a month. So wait, oh wait, wait, wait. She'll put her money behind that. JJ, you watch Zach and Michael? I do. I love him. What's his alter ego on Twitch? The one that gets really like sassy. I love him too. Um, or them, sorry, them. I love them both. Zach and I forgot what he, what they call themselves. Like anyway. <laughs> okay, so some of y'all know. What do you mean you're gonna put your money behind it? I might try it if you're gonna put your like if you're gonna pay me back. I wanna know what she means by I'm gonna put my money behind it. I think that's BS. I'll, I'll make you a financial bet. <laughs> like, I, I know that because I've done it over and over and over again with leaders. 100% of the leaders who have come since I've started doing these new systems, because I used to replicate them individually for someone who had a big enough network. Now it's replicated for everybody in the field. Whether you are capable of putting two people on an interest form or 200 people on an interest form, everybody has access to the system now. Um, but leaders, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> 
I can show you. If you can enroll 100 people in six months in another. The name of the app, Powerful Women Awaken Your Life LLC. I think you just need to type in Powerful Women and it'll pop up as like the second one or something. Company, I can show you how to enroll. At least in Apple. 300 this month. You don't have to talk to anybody and you don't have to follow up and you don't have to message them. And you don't have to answer questions and you don't have to get on opportunity Zoom. So you don't have to do launch calls and you don't have to do onboarding. And I'm not kidding. And I've done it over and over and over again. And not only that, but your people that come on, they're going to get onboarded. They're going to get trained. They're going to, nice they're going to be handheld, but in an automated way with technology. Okay. So this was also what Jesse's Lee, Jesse Lee's app did. Jesse's Lee. This is what Jesse Lee's like the, the empire, like, you know, all that it, it would like automatically, this was her Betty the bot. It would automatically onboard you and stuff like that to where she didn't really have to do anything. I'm confused. How is this different? Your body, your soul doesn't have to do it. It's your soul. Look, the reason I'm getting pushback is because people think, well, that's not the way we've always done it. Hmm. There was a time in that. No, they don't. They don't like you because you're condescending and rude and hateful. You're not even getting pushed back about your app probably very much. You're probably just getting pushed back about you being a really crappy person to people. Work marketing where everybody kept all their stuff in their garage and used to fax orders in. And then the internet started and people said that'll never work. People will never buy it that way. This is a relationship business. Blip, 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 blip. Karina. Everybody buys bot. online now with replicated <laughs> sites. There was a time where network marketing leaders said, Facebook's not even really gonna be a thing. It's not that powerful. It's not that important. We don't need to train on it. Those folks got left behind. And I'm just telling you right now that if you are a leader in this industry and you're watching- The app works on Android, are you? Yanfei, the best pyro. How much is, how much is that subscription? Why doesn't it work on Apple? If you have an Android, I need you to tell me how much a subscription. Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> I'm great at lives, y'all. How much a subscription is? Watching us go through this process and you're not at least willing to pay attention, you are going to be left behind. So I keep pausing it real fast. I know, but I just have a lot to say. $9.99. Damn, I would love to pay that. Come on, Melissa. Get it. We're working. Um, Glenn's, okay, this is a great point, And I have a theory. So Lynn says, She's not, mess she's not mentioning lab at all, which is throwing me off. <laughs> JJ puts words together so good. <laughs> um, here's why. Here's why. Here's my theory. Lab, not making her as much money as she wanted. Not make as she used to, right? Not as popular, not, not doing as great as it once was doing. Um, even if it's doing better now than it did like a year ago, it's still just not doing as great as she, as she, she's not making as much money as she once was. So now what she has done, which she has not said, is she stepped into the coaching world without saying she stepped into the coaching world because she wants to be unique, air quotes. So what she's doing, she's talking about this app and she's talking about these different things that everyone in the MLM world can use because she thinks it's going to make her more money. She's just doing grift by grift by grift, right? She's done the planner grift. She's doing the app grift, MLM grift. What she's hoping is that all these things will make her the money that she wants. Like if you put them together, but they're not. And she's getting pissed off about it. That's just my theory. What do y'all think? You are absolutely going to be left behind if you keep leaning in. Oh no, y'all, please don't pay for it. <laughs> Nar, that's my job. You don't need to pay for that. Okay, peace and love. JJ, <laughs> yeah. please don't ever. I need you to hear me now. I need you to hear me right now. Don't ever buy an MLM product. Don't ever buy. The planner was not something that was different. So we're going to ignore that. Don't, don't, don't ever, don't, please don't. That I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll waste my money on that. Please do not waste your money on that. That's me. That's me. I'll take the L for that. Okay. Please, please don't. <laughs> into garbage like ATM, send 50 messages a day, go for the no, 
um, make sure everybody gets on the three opportunity we Zooms are. this week. We are. Uh, let's do a let's do a whatever party. Let's go into a group and do a party. Let's put people in an event and have everybody go live. All of that stuff. It's Main Street, baby. You are the Main Street merchant. And I am the big box store. I think she just verbally slapped me in the face. <laughs> that was iconic. I'm going to make, I am going to make that. I'm going to make that a thing. Hold on, hold on. Get ready, get ready. I need you to, you got to be able to duck, okay? Because she's going to try to slap you verbally. Getting into garbage like ATM, send 50 messages a day, go for the no, um, make sure everybody gets on the three opportunity Zooms this week. Uh, let's do a, let's do a whatever party. Let's go into a group and do a party. Let's put people in an event and have everybody go live. All of that stuff. It's Main Street, baby. Baby. You are the Main Street merchant. And I am the big box store. Oh, I dodged that slap. I didn't dodge the first one though. It's going to leave a bruise. That was iconic. Iconic. <laughs> I love it. She's the big box store, y'all. She's it. She's the real deal. I'm Target. And you think I'm not going to impact your business. Did she just say, I'm Target? <laughs> oh my God. I love it so much. <laughs> you think that this technology change is not going to impact your business. It absolutely is. Progress is the only thing. Change and progress is the only thing that is absolutely inevitable in business. There's no way to escape it. And so you can eat. Very ironic because it's very corporate of her to say, you are the street merchant. I am the big box store. I feel like she's trying to push it to become a more corporate thing. Like, a, like less MLM-y, more corporate-y. Target, more like Walmart. We stand Walmart. <laughs> love it. Oh, I love Aldi too. I've been thinking about Aldi lately for some reason. I really want to go and spend less on groceries. <laughs> She's so desperate, ma'am. You are ridiculous. Right. Yes. Um, you are the street merchant and I am the big box store, baby. That's just how that shit works. Mm, iconic. Get that as a tattoo on my knuckles. <laughs> um, wait, what what'd you say? Tar Target. Ugh, Charlene, how did I miss this? Charlene said she's a big box, but her app doesn't work on iPhones. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Either figure, maybe I'm wrong. But what what's what's amazing to me is how many are like, oh, <laughs> LD. Thank you so much for the super chat. I it's very generous of you. I appreciate it. LD said, JJ, thanks for being our big box store. <laughs> Thank you, LD. Oh no, that'll never work. But they don't even know what they're saying is will never work. I mean, do you even have a CD player at home? I don't. I don't have a CD player. I can't even play a CD. I wonder if the people who made the CD thought about that when it was when when it was booming because there was a time where I had a whole bunch of CDs on my desk and we were burning CDs. Does she? I might be reaching. Don't tell me if I, I'm just kidding. You talk about it. Does she, does she not understand the idea of revel, of revolution? What? Evolution and like the progression of things. Because she, she very much seems to be like blockbusters no longer here. CDs. VHS. I'm like, yeah, that, yeah. I knew, I know that. I just, I'm confused. Like, does she not understand how, like, progression in society works? <laughs> Never let Melissa hear the phrase evolve or be extinct. Oh my gosh, she's going to love that. She's going to hear it on here and then love it. For music and, like, at the daycares, we used to burn CDs for music in the classrooms. It's not a thing anymore. No, it's not. It uses, and then people were like, MP4s aren't going to be a thing. It is irresponsible to not take a look. Oh. 
excuse you, you aren't using my app and paying me. You are so irresponsible. You are irresponsible for not buying my app. She just sounds like a whiny baby. Oh, Yan Fei, the best pyro. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it so much. It's very generous. Uh, just, could, am I anyone getting whining baby vibes? I, that's what I just received when I heard that. I receive it. <laughs> but you do what you want. Either way, it doesn't matter to me because at the end of the day, I don't really need, I'm not recruiting leaders anymore. I'm not even trying to. I have uh, basically zero desire uh, to go recruit leaders because frankly, no offense, full offense. <laughs> okay, get ready to be offended. She just said full offense. So I need you to prepare, get your tissues, anxiety meds if you need it, Um, get a pillow and a blanket and grab your pet or something that you cuddle when you're sad. It's time to be offended. Ready? Um, really, leaders are just exhausting. Just a bunch of big egos that think that they deserve something different than the rest of the field. And I I need you all to hear that again, and I hope it hits you the way it just hit me. Ready? Um, really, leaders are just exhausting. Just a bunch of big egos that think Listen. that they deserve something different than the rest of the field. And I got it in me no more. Leaders are exhausting. Just a bunch of people with big egos that think they deserve something different from the rest of the field. What the hell am I watching? Pot, meat, kettle. Right, Karina? This is, this is the thing, Lynn. This right here. The call is coming from inside the house, babe. Right? She's not wrong, but she's one of them. And that's the part that has me, I mean, I'm, my, the cringe level, I had to turn away. The cringe was so bad. I already cried today. She can't hurt me. <laughs> Blue for cloud, I'm sorry. <laughs> Self-awareness on fire, Marissa. The CD is coming from inside the boom box. <laughs> The V, just if it's coming from inside, what is it called? That didn't work out, but you know what I mean. Sorry to ruin that. She's projecting big time. I mean, no, so in a thousand percent, no self awareness. I'm cringing yet confused. And you know what, Penn Smith? I think that's a pretty accurate statement. I think a lot of us are feeling the cringe and confused. <laughs> it's just so funny that she says that. It's just. She's so iconic. She's so, I mean, she is my ick, but she's also iconic. You know what I mean? Oh, Yanfei the best pyro. Thank you so much again for, uh, um, what are they called? Oh my God. For the super chat. That's right. I appreciate it so much. It's so generous. Yanfei says, I know she's not talking about egos. <laughs> right. Right. Because hers is so tiny. Because at the end of the day, I came into this business to help people. I really have a desire to help as many people as I can add additional income to their life, even if it only means $500 to $1,000. And I now have a way that I can do that. And I'm just, it's going to go viral. Watch. Watch what happens. You remember the theory in MLM, get two who get two who get two, or maybe your company said get five who get five who get five who get five. Dot. Pause. I, I, Susie, I saw this. I acknowledged it in my head and I missed it. Julie, not video related, but your background is so beautiful. Where did you get the neon lights? Did you buy them like that or did you have to shape them? Okay, so I bought them like that. I, I, I had to shape it, but I bought these lights on Amazon. These were these like curly ones. I think they're like 40 bucks, but I had them in my last house too. And I, lo I love them because you can shape them however you want. You can like shape them like a flower and stuff. It, yeah, they're so fun. Um, so sorry, just to pause her on that. I wanted to say that a job of one, if you remember that, if you've ever been trained that way or went Jennifer. to an opportunity call and they said, if you just get two who get two, who get two, then, and they do the math out, then you end up with a thousand people on your team or whatever. I can't do that math that way, but you guys have heard this before, right? You want to know what that looks like? This is what that looks like.
that. Melissa, what do you have to say for yourself? That is what's going to happen with this interest form. We will never lose a lead again. This is, this is new, innovative, iconic, unbelievable. I've never seen this shape before in my whole life. Are you fucking real? Are you serious, Melissa? This is what you want to do? Well, no shit. <laughs> Sorry for the cursing, but D-A-M-N. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't get it. What do you mean you're innovative? When, when what you want to do looks like this, there's no innovation. I've been screaming this for two and a half years. Screaming at the top of my lungs that... Ultimately, they want it all to look like this, and they want to be that person. That's like the first funnel, not a pyramid. <laughs> That's a triangle, not a pyramid. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Ever. There's just parts of this that you are missing, especially if you're a leader in this industry. If you're brand new or you've been in the industry, but you've never had real success, this is a way for you to win. I promise you. Uh, and it's free to start. So you just need to get a spot. But if you're a leader and you really want to understand the back end of this, I'm happy to have a conversation because you are missing big, big pieces of it. And if you really understood it, if you actually cracked it open and took a look at it, <laughs> you just would not... You, you you would understand. I know that you guys know enough to understand why this is working. Because I've had other leaders I've sat with and, and CEOs of other companies look at it. They all want it. That Jennifer said, that's lovely Egyptian architecture, JJ. <laughs> that's how Thank I know. You. The, the, the theory the, the theory is absolutely intelligent. The um, Why are you I guys saying interest form? Do you want my interest form? Is that what you're asking for? Mindy, tell me if that's what you mean. Um, I will absolutely drop the interest form. I, I, I don't know. Did I say that? If you say interest form, I will drop my interest form in the comments. You can go ahead and fill it out. And that's how you get a spot. Um, that's how you see behind the curtain. But if you um, are a leader and you want to actually crack this open. Don't tell her, y'all. Don't tell her what I'm doing. And take a look at it. I think you're going to be shocked at what you see. It's not hype. It's not a bunch of just mumbo jumbo talk. It's real. Um, it's a, I'll send it to you, Mindy, when I get off of here, it's a real way to win, um, and not at the cost of your family and your life. Uh, if you're a leader in this industry and you've ever launched a team, you know, it's exhausting. The thought of doing it again is mind numbing. It's so exhausting to think about it, but with this system, it's just not matter of fact, the most common complaint I get from leaders who join me are, I don't feel like I'm working. I don't feel like I'm doing enough. We are, whether we want to admit it or not, we are absolutely addicted to hustle culture. And we believe that if I'm not falling into bed at night, leaders I'm speaking to now, if you're not falling into bed at night, actually emotionally exhausted from everything you had to do all day, that you're not working hard enough and you're not going to get the results. That's something we've trained our brains. And so here's your warning. Here's your disclaimer. That's not going to happen if you launch it lab. And that might sound good, <coughs> but I promise you within a week or two, it will start to I have absolutely entered my sassy era and, and, you know, I think it's cause I'm so uh, happy. <laughs> like I'm just, I just don't give a big, I don't care <laughs> anymore. And I'm tired. I don't want to like hold back, you know, I just want to be me. And I hope y'all are enjoying my sassy era. Cause that's kind of who I am. I'm kind of a sassy bitch. Freak you out. It freaks every single one of them out. And then we tell our brains we're not being successful, even though we've already enrolled more people in three weeks than we've ever enrolled Thanks, in a company, no matter how long we've been there. This has happened to me over and over again. And then the leader freaks out. They're like, this doesn't seem to be working. I'm like, well, you've enrolled 275 people. So what do you mean? Right, Floof McLeod. I do think this is an important point to make, and I'm glad you did. <clears throat> she's got some points about the problems. Absolutely. But she's missing 
that the solution is quitting the MLM, not making the scam worse. Right. And a lot of MLM leaders have mentioned problems in MLM. Completely valid. They are problems. But like you said, they just miss the solution being ixnay on the MLM business structure A. You know what I mean? Right. Yes. Agreed. So much time freedom. <laughs> Monica. It scares people because our brains are conditioned to think that we need to hustle at that high level, that emotional level where we're just giving everybody parts of ourselves. I don't know. I feel like, and I got to get my mind wrapped around this better. I feel like I'm not doing a great job explaining what it is. Oh my gosh, Genevieve. First off, that is a lovely picture um, with the horse and your hair looks gorgeous there. But um, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate all the super chats, y'all. They're so generous and so kind. Like you never have to do it, but it is so, so kind of you to do it. Genevieve says, use this to design your own app to draw us fabulous pyramids again. The cover can have an inspirational saying like, I am the big box store. <laughs> Thank you, Genevieve. That's awesome. You're so sweet. Um, except for to tell you, I guess for the right, masses no, I am, I mean, at the end of the day, for the folks who just want to make $500,000 and have never been able to do that in the industry, this is for you. This is for you. I built it for you. I prayed for you. I've hoped for you. You can just not pray for me. That'd be great. I've worried about you for years and it was built for you. It absolutely works for major leaders and major influencers. That's the other thing. There are a bunch of influencers out there who have half a million to a million followers across platforms, and they've never wanted to get into MLM because they don't want to do the leadership stuff. They don't want to run Zooms. They don't want to do onboarding calls. They don't want to do all that stuff. They really just want an affiliate link. This absolutely, absolutely um, works for just an influencer too. So that's the other really good news. But for those of you who have never had success in the industry or you've never even been in the industry, it was built for you. On the user end, it is so simple. If you can copy paste a link and if you can read simple instructions, you can absolutely do this. Matter of fact, I would place a bet that if you have 500 or more friends, forget about followers, just let's start with friends because some people are brand new. If you have 500 or more friends and you follow the launch process and you do it, I would suggest that you can put 20 to 75 people on your interest form in your first 24 to 48 hours and that you would make your first sale. Okay, enough of that. Yanfei, thank you so much for the super chat. That's really kind of you. Um, Yanfei says, mental gymnastics go goes crazy. Right, yeah. Like the flips that she's doing to try to get over the logic is wild. Also, Brandy, thank you, you wonderful human, for gifting five memberships. Thanks so much. Oh, that was so kind. Thank you for being so generous. Y'all are so sweet. Within that time frame, and get paid in your first week. I can show you how to do that. Um, and that does not require harassing people and bothering people. So um, time will tell. Time will show. Thank I can see it from the back end. I can. I'm watching the numbers go up. I am watching. Um, we have intentionally <laughs> chosen not to do any big sales this month. We just want to see if sales go up, and they are so far. Um, people are making money. Um, Shannon, you can just grab the interest form. That's how you get information about Lab. Um, so if you want the interest form, just say interest form, and I will send it to you. Um, but that's how you get information. You might have missed part of this live. I don't know, but I don't. I don't message people, um, and I don't answer questions. It's free to join, so it's free and easy to get in and take a real look around. Uh, militia for president. <laughs> I don't think presidents wear pigtails like this. I don't think we're allowed. Um, plus, that sounds like a job. I don't want to do that. I make more than the president of the United States. I'm all set. <laughs> and I work about an hour a day. So there's that. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know what else to say. If you guys have questions, you can put them in the comments and I'll come back and answer them. I am going to continue talking about this. Um, I am going to continue... Um, going live, I am going to continue irritating people uh, with my message, but the message is this. You can, in fact, post and pray. The work is now that. I don't understand. And all the gross stuff that is taught behind the scenes, you're just not going to hear that here. It's just not going to be taught here. 
Um, and I hope that's okay with you. So if you have watched this and you are someone who's interested in, maybe you've never had success I agree, or so you've never been in the industry and you're interested, just drop the word interest form or you can, if you want immediate attention. The Charlene, not if you're on an iPhone, right? If you're on an iPhone, this is her like subtle way of saying F you. Frankly, I don't care about you. <laughs> that's what I'm getting from it. Faster ways to, I get, I get 99 notifications every 10 minutes guys i miss notifications so you can message me the word interest form and i'll immediately respond with the actual interest form that's how you get information about lab that's how you get enrolled here that's how you purchase products here you just put your name on that interest form and then all of the information will come to you amanda said if we signed up before and did nothing and aren't in any groups anymore where do we go um amanda you can message me and i will tell you what to do to get the info you need to help you. Um, Lori, I think you're already enrolled, babe. So the interest form won't work for you. What you need is to message me to get reconnected to team and training. And I'll tell you how to do that with one text. Okay. So if you are, if you, if you are, we have, that's the other thing that's happening here. We are having so many people come back to lab. Lab is home. We don't cut off people's checks. We don't take away their position. We, if you have ever been enrolled at lab before, you don't need to re-enroll. Your position was never terminated. Um, so yeah because they need you so bad for their numbers because the numbers are probably so bad message me nicole um you have the position it's been built under you are welcome to re-engage it you can message me and ask for how to get reconnected and i will help you um and um it's literally one quick text and then you'll get a text back with a link which will give you instructions on how to get started and i suggest that you do i suggest that this time you take it serious and you get started you follow the directions it's simpler than you think that it is don't freak yourself out all right so that's all i have for today i hope that was helpful i hope you guys understand a little bit more about what we're doing um i'm always willing to answer questions if you um are a leader in the industry and this um intrigues you and you want to know more about how the back end works, I'm happy to have a conversation. All right, guys, I love you. I, I frankly, Melissa, I can't say the same, okay? Well, that was a whole lot of something. I told y'all that we were gonna do a second one. Do y'all wanna do a second one? It's only been an hour and a half. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go potty. And um, I'm gonna play an old YouTube video of mine while I potty. And then we will, uh, see you know what let's get like a good let me find a good one that like I want y'all to see like a fun one, you know, nothing wild. I do want. Ooh, you know what? Let's get like, I know what I want to do. I'm gonna go potty, fill up my drink, and then we're gonna move on. But we'll we'll do this one. Hold on. Okay, come on. All right, Julie Joe, this is ridiculous. Video, hit the subscribe button if you want to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button if you want to get notified. Be right back. Next. If you're not new here, welcome back. We have seen this person before that we're going to react to and do commentary on today. I want to say a few things before we start, but first, don't forget to follow my other social medias. I'm on Instagram and I'm on TikTok at walkin underscore on underscore Lexapro. You can see more everyday anti-scam, anti-MLM content on those channels. Channels. Profile?
Before we get started, I do want to say that we are going to react to Brittany Anderson today. We've had her on my channel a few other times, and she is direct to Jesse Lee Ward, from what I know. I want to say a few things, and I think it's important to note this for anyone I react to that is under Jesse Lee. None of them are as bad as Jesse Lee. They aren't. I truly believe that they are manipulated by Jesse Lee to see something that is not completely true. And here's why I believe that. Because if they were as bad as Jesse Lee is, they wouldn't be able to be under Jesse Lee. They would make their own empire of a sort. They wouldn't be able to follow Jesse Lee like they follow her right now. So we're going to go into this and I try my absolute best to always be respectful of people. I think that this is an important realization that I had and I think it's also important that maybe one day they watch these and go, wow, yeah, that's true. Or wow, okay, that is manipulative or wow, that is not good. But as I've said before, and as many people in the anti-MLM community say often, we can't just say these things happen without showing proof. We can't say, oh, they manipulate people. Oh, they just do this, they do that, and then not actually show what's going on. That's what this video is for. I am reacting to it with my own opinion and my education on MLMs. I think it's time that we just get started. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit because you know she's a little loud. Hi, beautiful humans. What's up? What's happening? How is everybody doing? Happy Wednesday. First off, I of course hope that you are having a fantastic day so far. It's me again. I promised you guys I would come live every single day with some tips to build your online business that no matter what product you sell, no matter what service you offer, you can apply these tips into your daily routine. And I will say I have not watched this. We are blind reacting. So let's hope it's good. I'm tired. I saw this was only 15 minutes. I've had finals all week long and I have one more on Friday. It's Wednesday currently. So I'm, I'm pretty exhausted at this point. I've had five already. If I got to see it, you got to see it. So we're in it together. Put your commentary below, please. I would love to hear what you have to say. Be respectful and please don't go and say anything to her or go to her profile at all. Thanks. Your online business and you can explode to the next level of your business, okay? If you are catching me live and you would like to grow your business and have the best business year ever in 2022 i need you to drop in all caps grow in the comments below because if that is the case i need you to do me a favor and turn on live notifications because i'm about to give you live next 30 days we're going all in and we are giving you throwback oh, you think i'm so pretty seems like that's really Wow, she's loud. Yeah, yeah, she is. Uh, okay, so hour and 43 minutes. She's on 10. Yeah, I should probably should have turned it down a little bit, huh? I forgot it was her. Um, hour and 40. I'm trying to decide because if I commit to this video, we'll probably go three hours. She is so loud. Okay. Are y'all in it? Like, are y'all, are y'all ready? Y'all want to do the next video too? Or are we, or do we want to ixnay that video and stop here? That's the question. Like, are y'all in it for the next one? Cause I'm matching energies tonight. Let's go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Avery. I've got drink and Sims ready to go. Oh, I wish I was doing Sims too. I love Sims. Ah, let's go. Are you all ready? I think it's time. We're going. We're doing it. Um, you all, Amari, this is a fun fact. Amari means to love. Sorry, I need to start over. As many of you all know, if if you are here, then you know that this team is brand new to Amari. So yes, we have Mary Scott, we have Shanna Hunter, and Kenley Mendoza, and then this chick, I don't know who she is. Um, you all, Amari, this is a fun fact, Amari means to love. 
Is that not incredible? I love it. I just wanted to start this off with that because that was something for me. I, I really look at the name of a company and I was like, what better name is than that? It's incredible. So I really love the name. Um, but yeah, we're here. We have Kenley. She is out. She has been with this company for a long time. Um, she is incredible. And we have Mary and Shanna That's who so is here that okay. just started whenever I did. We have been here for less than a month and we're excited to get going. We're excited for you all to hear and learn about Amari. I'm going to pass it off to Mary. You can give me hello, hello. Let me just get out my slides to start sharing because girl has to have slides or else I will go and get so sidetracked on everything. And as I was trying to, it's also pink. I love it. But you know, y'all want to know something? I'm really starting to like lavender and baby blue, but, but for some reason, lavender's just been hitting that spot for me lately. I mean, pink always, but like, I've never loved lavender as much as I do currently. Get other things up here. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right, again, welcome, welcome. Um, super excited to do this and to be here today. Um, right. First of all, let's just get, I, I don't know why this isn't letting me put it on present. Hold on, just give me a second so that I can make sure that it is good to go. Being difficult right now. There we go. All right. And I'm trying to let people in at the same time. Gotta love that, right? <laughs> um, okay, so here we go. A little bit about Amari. If you have come here, you probably came here because one of us have invited you and we are so excited to present to you tonight about the opportunity here at Amari. Something that I love about Amari is the word means love in Latin. It's such a beautiful word, Amari, meaning love. Um, and their mission is to create holistic mental wellness platform of products, programs, and people. Um, and the core values, love, integrity, innovation, service, humility. These are just things that I was drawn to for sure. And I know Shanna as well. All of us are, right? Oops. Why did that leave me? All right. It was founded in 2018 by a man named Heath Tran. He is just such a heart loving person, somebody that um, has had his own journey with mental wellness. And so he wanted to create products to help other people. Um, they're outside of South, they are out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, and their revenue growth is 100%, been up 100% per year, which is incredible, right? Um, the pillars of Amari, first, first of all, we have the emotional wellness, and then we have physical wellness, environmental wellness, financial wellness, and purposeful wellness. Um, these are just the five pillars that we go off of as the company. I'm so sorry, you guys. I keep having to let people in here. I'm really sorry that I'm, yeah, Erin, that's currently what I'm doing. I have that person hidden, but their comment still popped up on my live. So give me, give me a sec, y'all. I'm trying to like make sure I have no freaky deekies in my live, which I did. But I have them hidden from my channel, so I don't know how this person would show up in my live. Let me try it. Y'all just give me a moment, please. This is important to me. Um, they're hidden from my channel. How could they pop up in my life? You did it tonight? Oh, thank you, Charlene. God bless. Everyone, say thank you to Charlene for being the best mod ever. I greatly appreciate it, Charlene. Thank you so much. You can only be slightly freaky. You can't be balls to the wall freaky to be in this. Only slightly. 
So anyway, we're done. Okay, we can we can watch now. Well, um, something that you know you never think about is the growth that is so important in a company. Um, oh, keeps switching as I'm trying to move people around so I can see these slides better. Um, one in four Americans struggle with the lack of mental wellness. So not something that's you know we're seeing mental wellness as in something that's going to prevent you from mental illness. Um, children. She said, she said this, and I know you heard her, but it just makes a bigger impact. When I hear it again from my head, we say mental wellness and we mean what helps you not have mental illness. I'm sorry. A lack of mental wellness did not give me mental illness. Trauma did. They act like, oh, you want to know how you get depression? By getting depression. <laughs> but no. <laughs> well, that's not really how that works. There's reasons. And they're not necessarily controllable. Wild. Oh, oh I forgot. They give me the cringe. They give me the ick. Yeah. What did I miss in the live chat that they are talking about here? Ain't no way she said that. <laughs> Can you just imagine? Imagine that coming from your mouth. No, 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 no. Imagine being a psychologist or a therapist and hearing someone say that. Got mine from genetics and trauma. <laughs> right. Mine's genetics too, but also trauma. Diagnosed with mental health challenges? Struggle with a lack of mental well-being? A lack of mental well What does that mean? A lack, you lack some mental well-being. Um, I don't lack anything. Actually, I got too much shit going on and that's what's causing these issues. <laughs> oh, let's read this. Children as young as five years old are clinically diagnosed with mental health challenges. Over 56% of those that are challenged aren't receiving proper care. Could you explain what you mean by challenged? Is this a game? Am I losing a game? What the fuck is going on? Mental wellness solutions are needed now more than ever. There are a lot of mental wellness solutions. Well, yes, yeah, solutions. But you really want to know what could help out a lot. Actually, there's a lot of things that could help out a lot. What could help out a lot? Let's let's go over some things that could help um, mental wellness solutions, right? Maybe like not working five days a week. Maybe not um, having a lack of food, uh, lack of money. Having billionaires is also an issue. Um, going through trauma from parents and people. And I mean, there's just so much really. I can't get, I, we can't communism. <laughs> I just saw that lack of sleep. So there's, there's so many things that we're struggling with that. And there are actual solutions out there that people have. Now I'm not saying that this is too much of a deep, deep, deep conversation. So I'm not going to have, I'm not going to have it right now, but you know what I mean? Science has proven that the issue is not in our head, but it's in our gut. Mary, this one's for you. Ready? Get, get nice up and close. Where did you get that? Who? Where? The issue is not in our head. What do you mean? Pancreatitis. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you don't, I'm so sorry. That's so funny. Where where in the world is our mental health issues, struggles, whatever you want to call it, not in our head? Don't get me wrong. It's important to treat your gut well. But how can you say it's not in our head? Huh? I don't. I have. you. Y'all think that I'm sassy with like Melissa, but. But I have, I have zero tolerance for any of these women here. Melissa 
at least she's iconic. Like she's iconic, like icon ick. She gives me the icon ick. You know what I mean? These women. Oh, I almost said I almost said something that would have not been good. Not would have been would not have been very nice. <laughs> so I'm not gonna say it, but <laughs> just know that it's there. I just can't. I just can't with them. I have little, I have little, I have zero. Zero for them. Zero. <laughs> Who got it? Zero. Who got that? Who got that? By reference. Zero. Who got the reference? Tell me if you got the reference. I can't move on until I know. No, okay, okay. Zero. They've got to get the reference. I don't even know what you Yeah, no, because you don't watch my stuff. <laughs> That's why. Who, who knows? I'm just going to simply show you a video and you're all going to lose it. Well, those of you that know, know. If you, a lot of you are going to go, oh, okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Has anyone said it? Okay, no worries. I'm going to show you because I need to share the moment with you. And Brookie Banks, when when we crashed the live, don't remember when we crashed Brookie Banks's training and then she found out and she got so mad and then she went on a rant and she was like, do you know how many people we blah blah blah? Zero. <laughs> oh, that that was good stuff. That was real. Oh no, I don't want to leave Streamyard actually. <laughs> okay. Anyway, sorry. We'll continue. As young as five years old are cl clinically diagnosed with the mental health challenges. Over fifty-six percent of those that are challenged aren't receiving proper care. Mental wellness solutions are needed now more than ever, and science has proven that the issue is not in our heads, but it's in our in your gut. Uh, the global mental wellness right, uh, market has generated over 131.6 billion in 2021 alone, and the market size just continues to go up. By 2030, it's supposed to be at 226.1 billion, which is incredible. Wow. All right, Shanna, why don't you talk a little bit about the products? You definitely are the product master, and I love that about you. So why don't you share a little bit about the products? Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I love I'm I'm the product, I'm the product girl because uh I am I've been a nurse for 15 years. Um, I was able to retire because of this um, you know, industry. And so I also I'm sorry, but if this is what you're doing now, you must have been a crappy ass nurse. I'm letting it go. I'm letting it out. No, I'm not letting you say I was a nurse for 15 years, but then you're shilling this MLM BS. Absolutely not. You must have been the worst nurse on the planet then. Well, actually, no, there are much worse nurses, but you know what I mean. Also, I'm a researcher. So what I love the most about Amari's products is that they literally, and I'm not kidding, have something for everything and everyone. And so if you need anything, there's a bunch of everything. Can you, um, excuse me. Can you, um, do you have something for my major depressive disorder? Um, you know, different things on here, increased performance, you know, sexual wellness we have, um, hair, skin, and nails, gut health and digestion. A lot of the products really, really kind of focus on the gut to get the gut right. So hydration, confidence and weight, joint support, hormone health, sleep quality, energy. Guys, you know what's funny? This is giving me major Sims vibes because she's like confidence. What if I if I take this, am I gonna get like charisma points? It's like, is it gonna boost me to level two charisma? I don't I don't get that. We have a whole entire kids line that we're really excited to tell you about in a minute and optimal nutrition. So just something for literally everything. 
right from it. To go to the next. We love CNAs. We love That's CNAs. the only thing about me not doing the slides. I'm like, okay, next man, I don't know. Um, okay, happy juice. Guys, okay, I have my happy juice here. I always have happy juice. I know it's it's later towards the evening, but I take the one without caffeine at night because I am so addicted. I drink like two or three of these a day. I'm not kidding. So happy juice. We have clinical studies. Um, that this juice literally improves mental wellness, 60% decrease in irritability scores. I'm just going to let them talk. You know what I mean? Because I could sit, I could speak every few seconds in this. I'm going to let them talk and then I'm going to speak some. <clears throat> but I just want you to know, this is all complete BS. I'm just going to say that. This is all BS. A 50% decrease decrease in anxiousness, 50% decrease in overall sadness, um, 105% decrease in negative mood. What does that mean? 49% decrease in overall stress, 43% lower confusion, 64% lower fatigue, 70% increase in good bacteria, 211% an increase in positive mood, what? and 44% increase in vigor. So guys, this is <laughs> like amazing that they have these studies that were able to actually prove what it does not just say it's just not just hearsay you go to the next one <laughs> okay happy juice but what is it okay i love that we have the little video over here because it's actually three products in one and i have my it actually comes in little to go um little packets as well as what i have here to show you we have both it's three in one product. There's three products that you mix together and they are $150 for 15 servings. That's $300 a month. So in the grape, they're going to have the little to-go packets and then they have these little yeah. kind of canisters here, which is the mentabiotics. This is watermelon edge. And then we also have our energy and our energy, both flavors come in the little to-go packs. Okay. But edge, edge is so young. Jennifer said, where do they get these numbers? Uh, up their button around the corner is my guess. It's what makes this the color, right? And so it is a nootropic. It has yep. three Amare. ingredients, guys. That's it. It's so clean. Three ingredients that synergistically right. work together. And if you guys go and look up lychee fruit, you will be so astonished on what that one ingredient does. Um, but it helps with a lot of things. It can actually even help with a little bit of balancing the um, blood sugars, like the glucose level as well. Um, but mental flow, um, endurance, it helps with motivation, with mood, um, focus, so many things, okay? Does it also help with pushing out logic from your brain? Does it help you be more irrational? That's just the vibe I get from these people. And then I like to call the mentabiotics the powerhouse of happy juice. That has something that's called phytobiotics. Right, Eli. Why don't we just eat the lychee fruit then? Why do I have to buy this with lychee in it? You love Petty JJ? I'm just saying she's here to stay at this point in my life. Rise, Tyler, Ella, if you were a researcher, you would know about citations. And I know that lots of people have heard of pro and prebiotics, right? But this has pro, pre, and phytobiotics. And what this does is it helps to connect that gut brain um, access, right? You've heard of if you get your gut right, you're going to get your brain right, right? It's your second brain. No, 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 no. Are these people plexus rejects? Oh my gosh, that's funny. Oh, my face is covered. Hey, hi. I know it's all about me, right? Plexus reject. That's funny because I have said plexus was like the first Amare, right? Because they are they are people who specifically talk about mental wellness too. They, they haven't like taglined it as much as Amare has, but definitely, definitely. Excuse me. So this actually helps to balance out that bacteria in your gut and help for all of the transmitters, all of the neurotransmitters to actually communicate with the brain. Oh, so really? I absolutely love this. That's why you're getting, once you get that gut 
um, healthy, you're going to start to notice that you feel like more clarity. And sometimes I even feel like I see better. And I know that sounds really weird, but it's true. Um, and the third thing is energy. And so this we have in caffeine or caffeine free, so you can decide, but even the one that has caffeine guys, we're talking clean ingredients here. We it's 55 milligrams of matcha green tea. Okay. Um, what this does is it provides focus, some clean energy, physical performance and endurance guys. And you do not have to worry about having jitters with this because the caffeine is so natural source. Um, and then you don't get any of that afternoon crash or that craziness. Um, but I'm going to tell you this makes you happy and it also helps you with your blue. Cause when you help, what you help with your, blue, right? So it's an amazing, that's, that's like our most popular product. You no feel worries, happier the longer you drink well. it. <laughs> okay. And so we did talk about how there is something for everyone. Right. And so we're talking about our kids line here. So our kids fundamentals, again, our children need a healthy gut as well. Right. And so this fund, um, this kids fundamentals actually supports the gut brain access with probiotics and prebiotics to help our children, right? And I know that my niece was so, so excited to hear about this because it's something that they don't. Can you not ever talk about kids again in your grift? Could you, could you please stay as far away from kids as possible? Thank you. Also, please talk to your doctors and pediatricians before putting your children or yourself on any BS like this offer a lot for children that don't have junk ingredients in it. So this is like so great to be able to help their gut and help their brain as well. Okay. Kids mood guys, this one, I've seen it on the news before I even knew what this company was. Okay. That is how popular this product is. Um, I don't have mine beside me. I usually do, but they're little pixie sticks. Okay. That you can literally rip open Put right, do, do you have it, Mary? So you can show it. Okay, I knew it. Okay. And you just rip it right open. You put it right underneath your tongue. It tastes so good. So I have not ha heard of one complaint from a parent. Um, they said this kid approved. Very, very good. I think Mary loves the taste. You can use it as an adult as well. And what this does, it's for stress resilience, cognitive performance, calmness focus and increased positivity. But also what I've heard, okay, from parents is that they just notice that their behavior is better. They don't have as much irritability. Um, you know, they have more time to just be focused on the things that they need to, to focus on and just that calm. I'm sorry. Let's just be completely straight up, please. And I'm going to say this and I mean this in my whole heart. And I, 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 do not take supplements unless you've spoken to your doctor. Overdoing supplements is not good. Do not. Vitamins and minerals are important for your body. Too much of those things, too much of a, too much of a good thing comes, becomes bad, y'all. Not every time, but, but like in this situation, please, please, before you start taking supplements, talk to your doctor. Now. I take vitamin D. Why? Because my blood work showed I was low in vitamin D. Why? I work night shifts, y'all. And it gets dark at 4.30 here. And that's when I wake up. So that's an example of a good reason to take a supplement. And Avery, this is a great point. Please get a hormone blood panel before starting any supplements. Great. Yes. Talk to your doctor, do what your doctor says you need to do, do your blood work, do the things that you need to do, and then go from there. That calm effect, right? And then we have our kids calm. And that one I don't have in front of me either, but if you guys have it, you can show it. Um, these are gummies for kids, guys. And they're little, like they're really actually really. You know what? There's also something called Flintstone gummies. She's like, these are gummies for kids. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, no, that checks out. That makes sense. Cute. I haven't been able to taste them yet. So what do you guys think they taste like that you that have tried it? What would you say? Just berries, really. 
I've, I mean, I've heard from different kiddos, like it tastes like a raspberry. It tastes like a blueberry. It tastes like a strawberry. I mean, any. I'm going to be really honest. Hearing Kenley talk makes me want to shove my head in a garbage can. And that is just how I feel about her. Berry flavor, I feel like is a win. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. And so this just helps to kind of calm and it's melatonin free. Okay. So I know it's called <laughs> right, calm because it is for sleep, but it actually just helps children to like wind down and it could be for adults too. I think kids mood plus and calm. Lots of adults take both. Can we like normalize what Penn said? Kids don't need all this crap. Give them fresh fruit and veggies. Can we, you know that you can get vitamins and minerals from food. <laughs> You actually don't need it. You don't need supplements. Of course, unless you're a doctor and you have talked about it and there's good reasons like me with vitamin D and not getting sun because I work night shifts. That makes sense. Now, I could also eat oranges if I want, but I don't like oranges. So there's that. But like with children, give them fresh fruit. Give them fresh. It didn't even need to be fresh fruit. Fruit, veggies, um, uh, legumes, beans, you know. <laughs> Beans have great fiber. Anyway, I mean, you know, it, it doesn't have to be from supplements like this. Um, but it kind of just helps them wind down, get their kind of brain yes, relaxed and yes. not feel so, you know, kind of, you know, crazy. And um, it improves their sleep and it's melatonin free again. So I don't know if you guys know this, but melatonin, <laughs> actually, when you give that to your children or even you take it yourself, what you wind up doing is you stop the production of your own melatonin. So when you actually stop taking melatonin, it's almost going to be like an addiction for you because your own body is not producing it anymore. So you're going to actually put yourself in a state of later on down the line, you're going to have even more problems trying to get to sleep right. because so you're not producing that melatonin. So, so so if you guys have children or even yourself and you have trouble sleeping or just winding down, like, I don't know men, about you guys, oh, men no, love. you got them. Awesome. Hi. <laughs> but if any of you guys even have trouble kind of like, you know, what gets me going, I mean, it just gets me going is when someone like Shanna Banana Bobana Bufana, who comes on here and acts like they know what they're talking about has no idea what they're talking about. I'm like, source, give me the source. I don't care if you're a nurse, we're a nurse. I want your source. You know why they have her talk about products? Because she, she, she was a nurse. So they're like, oh, she was a nurse. Tell me what gets you going, TJ. When these people come on here, and they don't know shit. And they act like they know shit. What gets me going? De-stressing at night and your brain is going a little crazy, you can take these as well before you go to sleep. And this part is going, oh moving God. over to Kenley. Kenley, if you can unmute yourself. God, I wish she would just stay. I don't want her to unmute herself. I want her to stay muted. And I never want to hear her again. But I will because it's part of what I do. And I have to learn to regulate my feelings towards people. And you are going to see me act actively regulate my feelings towards Kenley. Awesome. Thank you so much. This has been so fun so far. I love how we, we all get a chance to share something about Amari. So first of all, I just want to say really quickly, because we've got some guests on here. I think we're streaming live on Mary's page. Um, if you ever have the opportunity to work alongside Shanna, Mary, or Cassie, or any of these other incredible leaders and partners that are on right now, um, I hope that you feel just as honored and privileged as I do, because they are the most servant-hearted, selfless leaders, and they they just they work really hard. They love helping others here, and I just want to I want a little plug, just a little plug, ladies. Like it has been so fun doing this with you guys, um, and I just it's just the beginning, so I'm excited for what's to come. So I. I get to eight ways to earn as an affiliate. One, you're not an affiliate. They people in MLM love to hijack words that don't have a bad connotation to it, like affiliate or used to be network marketing, social selling, because they know that if they use the words that are actually made for their business model, 
people are going to run. Focus on five, social selling bonus, minimum monthly rewards, social selling bonus. That just, that, that, that's a team bonus. Minimum monthly rewards. Love your journey rewards. and pro- Okay. I'm going to let her talk about this because path to paradise, probably a trip, car program, car, dual compression, infinity bonus, bonus pools. Okay. Chat about the eight ways to earn as an affiliate. Yeah. Right. Hermit servant heart. It simply means you just need to be okay with not getting paid while you work. Serve people. You need to serve people. Don't get paid while you work. Just be okay with that is what they mean. Here within Amari. I'm actually going to touch on the details of a few of them, um, but I'll kind of briefly touch through the eight different ways right here and then share some of our favorites. Um, So we've got something that's called Focus on Five. I'm going to share more details in a second. We've got a social selling bonus, minimum monthly rewards. I'm going to touch on the details of these momentarily. We have like a whole So as you are rank advancing here within Amari and hitting certain ranks, you get an option to either choose like a cash bonus or you could choose like a Louis Vuitton bag or you could choose a laptop or you could choose, you know, maybe a trip or you could choose that Amari covers your car payments essentially. So you have an option of all of these different incredible rewards and incentives um, along your journey here as you continue rank advancing and as your team continues to grow. Um, We have something that's called Path to Paradise. We're going to touch on that. We've got car programs, as I already mentioned. We've got dual compression and infinity bonuses that I want to talk about my favorite part about this compensation plan. Uh, Because for me, the most important aspect of just having success in this industry is duplication. Right. Recruiting people below you so that they can recruit people below them so that they can recruit people below them so that they can make more money, which... Well, so that you can make more money is what they mean. This. This is what she's talking about. Love it, Kenley. Thank you. If you do not have a simple system or a comp plan that is easy to be duplicated, (laughs) that is easy for you to do yourself, regardless of what kind of experience or even no experience you have in the industry, if, Mm -hmm. if it's easy for you to do, it's easy for others to be able to do the same thing. It's, it's duplicatable. This is my favorite. Sarah, the fudge lady. First off, fudge is yum. Sarah said, so do they have a health insurance bonus or like, since they're the premium health and wellness company, do we not need health insurance? Right. That is, that is the question. Right. Um, So we have something that's called focus on five to where every single calendar month, you have the opportunity to earn $500 at minimum, right? And I feel like so many people, when they look at companies, when they choose who to partner with, or when they're just open to another stream of income, their vision starts at $500, I feel like. It's like, man, if I could just earn, if I could just have an extra like three to $500, it's very small. Like that would lift so much weight off of my chest, off my shoulders. That would help out. So like my family throughout the holidays, whatever that is, right? So every calendar month, you have the opportunity to focus on five to where you acquire a combination of five customers or partners. So it's not five and five. It can be five total, right? So this could look like five customers. It could look like one affiliate and four customers. It could be five affiliates, no customers. As long as it's a combination of five, any comp. Floof. I feel like. Who needs research when you have feelings? Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Though you earn an additional $500. I have a lot of feelings. And when you do it Thank and you, you duplicate it, that is how your business can start to grow and your team can start to grow. And we have people doing this here within our team, especially this team that has just kicked off, like literally left and right, um, like wildfire. So it's super exciting. And again, you can do it every calendar month. Um, next slide, we're going to talk about, I believe, our minimum monthly rewards and our social selling bonuses. So on the left-hand side, you'll see that off of every single one of your first-time customers or partners, you're actually earning 20% on every single first-time order. And that is something that you get paid on on a weekly basis. Now, after that first time order, you can then start to um, climb this ladder and earn up to 38% 
on your customer orders on a monthly basis, which is pretty significant. Now, what's even more significant and exciting, and I know like Shanna talks about how much she loves this all the time, is our guaranteed minimum monthly rewards, minimum incomes, incomes, excuse me, in these, these lower level leadership positions is what I like to call it, right? So when you hit a position of silver where you're, um, you have 5,000 in team volume for six months time period, you are receiving a minimum income of $1,000. Imagine what this guaranteed income can do for you and your family to know what's coming in and know what kind of bills this can take care of, right? So as long as you maintain this silver rank, what does this mean? So let's say that you achieve, you know, silver and let's say for just. I want y'all to guess the percentage of how many people are silver in the company. I want you to guess. I'm going to give you 10 seconds from when I stopped, when I start counting to guess the percentage of people who are silver in the company. Ready? 10. Three, two. One. It is lower than almost everybody's. It is point, where is it? Point six five percent. Point six five percent of people are silver. Less than one percent are silver. And she's talking about silver when she says. What she's saying here, silver, 5,000 team volume, 1,000 guaranteed minimum for six months. So you're saying less than, you're saying over 99% of people in the company don't even make 1,000 a month. Actually, 86.35% make an average monthly compensation of a little less than $26. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Kinley, for telling us that, right? The parts that people need to know, oh, silver can get $1,000, but that's amazing. Yeah, but only 0.65% of people are silver. So is it really that amazing? No, what you'll be is you'll be in the 86%, which is $25 a month, which doesn't include products you purchase. So you're, you're in the negatives, or maybe you're in the, the 87, 88%, which is $317 a month, which is a profit of $17. If you're only purchasing the happy juice. Oh, but you know what? It's actually probably not a profit because that doesn't include any taxes, um, or shipping. So you probably actually aren't profiting at all. Dear God. Easy example purposes, easy math. Um, you earn 800 bucks, right? As a silver average income, right? So what this means is just a few days later, Amari is going to top you off and they're going to give you an additional $200 to make sure at minimum, your guaranteed income that you earn that month is a thousand dollars. So when you double your volume as your team grows, honestly, as you just focus on five and continue duplicating that, your team's going to double organically by default. So when you hit this goal, 10,000 in volume, now your guaranteed income doubles to 2,000 minimum guaranteed income. And then she said, when you hit this goal. So for gold, um, that's 0.3% of the company. So when they hit this goal, Kenley, are you, I think Kenley's intentionally trying to be a lying scammer, a lying, deceptive, grifting scammer. Why? Well, Kinley, why don't you tell them that only 0.65% of the people are going to hit silver and only point, what is it? Zero three or three point three percent are going to hit gold. You can't use the word when you have to use the words if, and if is actually too good of a word. And eventually as a platinum, $2,500 a month of guaranteed minimum income. So you can really start to plan your finances, which I think is so, 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 so big um, in this space that we're in. So when we go to the next slide, we're going to talk about Path to Paradise, I believe, which is my absolute favorite. I don't know about you guys, but one of the things that I love the most about 
um, just this industry is the community, the camaraderie, hanging out together, and honestly, just having a blast while doing it and having fun and getting together with everybody. Um, so every, you know, what's even more interesting, we talked about that, but did you know that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 ranks and silver's the fourth from the bottom. Silver is the fourth from the bottom rank, and there are 13 ranks, and it is less than 1%. Did you know that the highest percentage is the bottom rank, which is 86.35, but you want to know what brand builder, which is the second lowest rank is? You want to know it's the next highest percent, 2.15. This is utter BS. Single year, Amari has this path to paradise where they're... Okay, Kinley, why don't you explain the percentage that actually get this? It's I you know what I bet it is? 0.3% or less. There's a different um paradise at the end of the um I don't know, at the end of the uh, um gosh, the qualification period, excuse me. Um so last year um we went towards Riviera Maya. I personally actually just got back from that trip. It was incredible, but right now you guys, we are all running and having so much fun while doing it towards a Mediterranean cruise, all expenses paid. So in a nutshell, as you are building and growing and doing all the things that we're already doing anyway, right? Like as we, you know, help people get on these products and acquire customers, as we help people make, make additional income and, and bring in affiliates, as we help these people. Um, Taylor, I love that. Could you tell me how many people would be at Presidential Diamond if it's less than 0.01%? Or why don't we do two-star diamond because it's 0.03%. So tell me, if you could figure that math out for me, I would appreciate that. So people much. have success in rank advance as we all have success as a team you're accumulating and earning these points and eventually you get enough points to where your flights paid for your guest flights paid for you get the seven nights six days you know paid for and you know all of these other perks that are attached to that so it's really exciting so if you are someone who loves to travel and loves to travel paid for we are going to be in greece croatia italy on a cruise in September next year, and you have all the way up until from now, all the way up until the end of June. But what she's not going to tell them is they have a better opportunity of winning this trip through gambling. They have a better opportunity of winning that same amount of money that this trip costs through gambling. And that's that's per an FTC statistic, by the way. They're, all the statistics are in, uh, well, at least for the last several months of my videos in the descriptions be able to do this so there's plenty of time and i'm i'm expecting big things out of this team and i can't wait for us to take over that so i want y'all to hear this i'm gonna show y'all something and i just i wanted to hit because if it doesn't hit y'all it hits me so hard and i sit here and i go they really think they are some this this reassures me of why i do what i do these okay their income disclosure statement, right? So I just said two-star diamond because it didn't have this less than 0.01% and there wasn't this NA, right? Two-star diamond is 0.03% of the company. And there are 155,000 people in Amare. And 46 of those 155,000 people are at two star diamond, which is second from the top. Could you imagine less than 0.01%? What about presidential diamond? I'm going to say presidential diamond is less than seven people of 155,000 people. It's a small boat. <laughs> they're all going to get on because there's not going to be many people there. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. Yep. So the next slide, the growth that Amari has had is um, unlike anything I've ever, I've been in this industry full time since uh, 2015. And, you know, this is growth that I have seen within the industry that I've never seen before, truly. Um, I mean, since Amari launched in 2018, what they're projected to do in 2023, for us all, we love a good S curve. Q Sciences really had that going, and now everyone likes to make their own kind of S curve. To be involved 
at this pivotal time in Amari because we have a huge but you know what's so interesting is none of them actually get past the part where apparently they're growing a lot. Because Q Sciences, from what I know, still shows the S curve and they're like, we're still right here where they were three years ago. I'm like, so wait, when do you hit the next, when do you hit the next part, right? The part where you're, where Monate is. <laughs> That was a jab and it was on purpose. Huge demand of mental wellness. Mary touched on that. And we have incredible products that Shanna has touched on that meet that demand. So we are just going to continue to grow and double and double and double in size and really become this legacy company and get into this hyper growth and hyper momentum. And we are just on the cusp of that and so, so, so excited for what's to come. So the next slide, we're gonna talk about our different packs that we have, our different starter packs. We have five incredible starter packs. We've got the Everyday Health Starter Pack um, at $5.99. You can see the value on the right-hand side. I'm not gonna go over all of this in detail. Whoever it was that invited you on tonight, they can actually send you a graphic to where you can kind of look at it. In the starter pack is $265. That's expensive for a starter pack. Detail a little bit more and select whichever one you feel is maybe best meets your financial goals, but really great packs. And all oh, I have to say Tori. is you just for sure before taxes, for sure. You just have to get in where you fit in. Obviously, the bigger the pack, the better because you get to experience more products. No, Kenley, it's because you get more compensation from the bigger pack. You get more money from the bigger packs. Let's be real. Um, bang for your buck for less money, more products, etc. Um, but at the end of the day, we just want you to be able to partner up with us with ease and be excited, right? So if that doesn't mean getting started at one of our highest packs, <laughs> that is totally okay. We actually are offering free affiliate upgrades right now to where at minimum just a happy juice order and this is our flagship product you guys everybody needs a happy juice okay just off of happy juice alone we can actually tack on a free affiliate upgrade what does that mean that means your annual membership of 69.95 which 70 bucks a year to be able to run an incredible business is honestly nothing but the fact that we can waive that for your entire first year is huge 70 bucks a year is nothing okay Let's remember that she said 70 bucks a year is nothing. $25 a month. 86% of people are making less than $25 a month, Kinley. So if 70 bucks is nothing, you're also saying that 86% of what people are making are likely nothing as well. Because they're making less than 25 a month. my God. So really you've got nothing to lose, especially with this and endless happiness to game. It sounds so cliche and so cheesy, but I love it because it's so true. And right now we are literally running the biggest right end, sale, right. um, just in the history of the year of all things Amari. I mean, you guys know how black in the history of the year in the, excuse me, in the history of the year. I don't know why that got me, but that got me in the history of the year friday is it's like there's no better sale than what's happening within black friday and we have 30 percent off site-wide including happy juice including all of those enrollment packs that we briefly briefly um went through all of the starter kits 30 percent off depending on what kit you want to get started at i mean that could be literally upwards of like 300 dollars in savings which is huge yeah that you know what that is huge. And you want to know something else that um, less than 2% make that a month. Less than 2% of your company make $300 a month. I just thought that's funny. I just think that's <laughs> giggle, giggle, a hee hee ha ha, you know? So we're so excited that you had a chance to hop on, learn about the product, learn about just mental wellness in general and the demand. Thank you, Taylor. Taylor said, don't forget the $3,600. $3,600 a year for happy juice. And in the need, um, really excited that you got a brief glimpse of what Amari is all about. And so we just want to encourage you to get back with the person that invited you on. I'm telling you right now, this team right here is blowing up like absolute crazy. Kenley, I, uh, she was too close to the screen, y'all. I had to stop it there. It's pretty much the end, but I had to stop it there because I couldn't. She's too close to the screen for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, 
not that she's ugly or anything. I just, you know, too much, too much for me. So that was that. What y'all think? Thanks for being on, on the live. I would love and appreciate if you liked it right now. Go ahead. And then left a comment when I got off. That means the world to me. It helps the video. And I really appreciate it. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off. I really want to play The Sims. I really want to play The Sims. Thank you for being here. I hope y'all have a great evening and be ready for next week's videos and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> have a great night, everybody. Let me find my, my bye-bye. Where's my bye-bye? Starting soon, JJ Reacts, be right back. Oh, here we are. Okay. Bye, everybody. Stay till the morning, die. Oh, would you follow me?